Welcome, ladies and gents, aboard the SES Emperor of Judgment. It's your favorite Asian robot. Hopefully your favorite Helldivers 2 content creator. Now, we'll begin checking out the war situation soon enough. But first, let's go tell everyone we're live. That was an interesting announcement. Okay, good. Tweet is almost complete. And voila. Right. That should settle things. Good morning, Blade. Ah, speaking of which, that's right. It's time to deliver your invite. Um, you may have your invite. Good morning, Jason. Welcome, welcome. Today we are going to have a little bit of fun. Okay. Let me bring up the war map and a few other things. Hmm. Well, Lee, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you'll have a good day watching me spread some democracy. Eliquie, good morning. Well, good evening for me on my side of the world. The galactic war awaits. Welcome, 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 everybody. Now, for those of you that don't know, our current major order is simple. We are to eliminate and liberate all automaton-held planets. Durgan, Tibbet, and Maya. Now, I personally believe that we need to strike Tibbet. It is my personal idea that we should concentrate their, our forces on their home planet. That being said, it would seem the majority of the other forces want to strike at Maya. I've told the other commanding officers the same thing that I will tell you. There are 16,000 divers on Durgan. I don't know which faction or who or which commander they belong to. There are 26,000, mostly of my elite, on Tibet, and there's 61,000 on Maya. If 61,000 Helldivers upon Maya cannot take the planet while we hold the line on Tibet, then I'm not sure what to think. So, I will say this. I expect them to capture Maya before we are done. We are going to lay siege to Tibet, and unless our elite are very very necessary we will not be going to Maya if they want us on Maya they can 
The efforts of hell divers across the galaxy they can bend the are knee all that keeps the enemy and from ask doorstep. And ask. Nicely. Maybe with a few gifts for the elite to travel there. For tonight, though, I'm laying siege to their command center. So, join me if you wish. And of course, uh, if any of you are friends with the bug hunting faction, perhaps you could call some of them to assist us on our venture. Kalith? Well, to be honest, the forces on Maya seem to be doing fine. Hello, robot. I heard you got ah, a new welcome. subscriber tonight. <laughs> well, we're actually not wearing the capes of the Malevolent Creek. We celebrated yesterday. Today, we're back to our Steel Bastion. Anyway, I expect to see... I expect to see the progress of Maya going up. Unless, of course, a wrench is thrown in the works. Um, strange things appear to be happening upon that planet's surface. I'm watching things tick up and down weirdly, but uh, we'll see. For now, anyway. You're right, what are we waiting for? I think it's time for me to drop in onto the surface. Ah, Glade just landed. Good. Let me give him his roll. Welcome to the robot nation. Hold on, I've got to give this guy his nickname. <laughs> Should we expect any defense? I don't know at the moment. We appear to be fully on the offensive right now, Kalith, so... I cannot say for sure whether we can expect any defense. Um, the war situation has only just begun, so right now, like I said, I feel that there's still a lot of division in the community about where we should go. Um, I, for example, am leading an assault on Tibet, while those on Maya do whatever they wish to do, but we shall see. Mm, MTCW? There's no real solution for that. <clears throat> if you are the mission host, you'll still be getting contribution. So just be aware of that. Because for me, I can still get contribution even after it crashes. Anyway. Eradicate the bots from every last planet. Since I don't have any of my forces with me. Okay. I think I'll begin on a level 7. Um, Glade, are you coming with me? Hang on, wait. I'll just ask the, I'll just ask the guy. Yeah, sure, okay. Come on in. You may come into the voice room and join me. We may as well start our assault at their command base, and it'll go a lot faster with two of us than with, uh, than with just me leading the team. Okay. <coughs> Let's get it done. So, you all know the drill. The effects on the planet uh, will vary, but um, 
unlike the defense missions, we will have a variety of uh, effects to worry about, so just be aware of that. Another I'm probably step going to take the call in time first. Mm, Alright. Understood. Ah, there's Gallade. What up? Hey. Okay. Voice normal. Good. All right, let's go. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Initiating FTL jump to the Tibet system. <coughs> Ox the mighty, don't worry about the medals. They'll be coming soon. It takes a while to deliver the medals, so I'm sure you guys will get the medals soon enough. FTL jump. By the way, excuse the coughing. I've overstrained Hello, my voice today. I heard you got a new Called off work, you got a pinched nerve in your neck. Uh, rest, track hoodie. You won't be much help to us with a bad neck, my dear friend. So please do rest up, yes? Yes. Second. <laughs> Sorry, texting my civilian family. Right. I know, right? I wish you had a uh, real life stims, buddy. That would certainly be helpful. All right, we're going uh, speed run mode. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Bring the hell pod, yeah, there we go. Hell that way we don't have to worry pods. about Repeat. the rest. To hell pods. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, prepping accordingly. GR5, of course. Senator. Good. Okay, you ready for this, Glade? I'm ready, boss. Okay. Let's get going. Come on, this guy. Hurry up and pick your shit. We gotta go, we gotta plan it to assault. Oh, you're welcome to do that, Javier. Like I said, my elites will assault Tibbet, but the rest of you are free to go where you need. I mean, if you guys really need my elite forces, I guess we could move, but I'll see after the war effort develops. I've already planned an assault on the enemy stronghold, so, you know. Oh, the one medal from yesterday is your cape, by the way. Good morning! To you, Grasshopper! The Super Earth Elite are now assaulting Tibet. This is where our stronghold is. Hell Commander is indeed a sick title, I love it. Objective critical stratagem available. Go where you guys please. My elite forces will be on Tibet, of course. Because, I mean... Where else would we assault if not their stronghold, eh? If you guys have enough forces on Maya, surely you can take it in five hours, just like they've done before. But if you really need my elite forces, I suppose we could deign to help you. But we shall see. Where's the dropships coming? Calling down a support weapon. Ah, good work. My apologies. Oh, but I didn't kill you. Don't forget to get your gear. Have a resupply. Is 
that Hulk just sitting there? Well, a free kill is a free kill. <laughs> well, it could be existence gaming, you never know. However, regardless of what we do in this war, we shall we shall bring justice and democracy to the automatons. Ungrateful though these socialists may be, we will remind them of the proper way to live their lives. Reloading. Careful, Glid. Don't be wiping me out now. What a poor accuracy to start myself. in rotation but still done all right uh, we've got some automaton facilities here good morning good morning and pretty much that's right run the tutorials run the basic stuff relax take it slow there's no need to rush at the end of the day what you do in this game is you enjoy yourself and then when you're ready you role play you join us in the big role play that we're all doing right now, you know? There we are, good. Hmm, I like it. Oh, come on, foliage. must take the uh, artillery first. So I'll hit there. Join me. Taking out their rocket trooper. Moving to artillery. What are we doing today? Ugh. Surviving artillery shots in the face apparently. But um, what we are really doing is, for me and my elite forces, we are heading to Tibet. Why? Because we believe that Tibet is the one major production facility for the Atomatons. So, I am assaulting Tibet. But uh, other people are assaulting Maya because they believe that this is where a vast majority of the forces are. Oop, dead. Blade, I hope you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Get over here. Oh, you dear, you did. Yeah, I just got team killed by uh, a cluster bomb. Yep, that'll happen. I wish these people would recognize that artillery and blazers are fast and literally where people need to go first. Anyway, there we go. More time placement done. I'm coming back to you guys. Hmm, <laughs> excuse me. Well then. I hope you guys can call up some of the bug hunters then, because uh, I don't believe my elite forces alone will be enough to push that number. Then. Rare sample acquired. So get those bug hunters on board if you can, and maybe we'll stand a chance. Calling in orbital strike. But I will continue to check the war situation. 
Oh, you guys finished the objective. All right. Tagging map northwest. Uh, if you guys finish an objective, right, let me know, Glade. Calling in reinforcements. So because you're new to joining me on voice, uh, one of the things people will let me do is just, like, let me know is that if something is completed, there's a call, there's, uh, here we go. We've got a bot drop coming. Stick next to me. Return here. We've got to deal with the bot drop. Don't go too far from me. These guys seem stuck. Guess the problem's solved. Hello, Jimmy. Don't run solo trivials. Run easy missions. That's a lot better. Alright. Do you have a laser for the large automaton base? I sure do. Okay, throw it on. Good. Standing in an I literally saw some random corpse flying at me. That was wild. Okay. New attack. Point me to the enemy. We will see, track. We will see. I have a plan and I will not deviate from my plan. If others wish to deviate from my plan, they are welcome to do so. However, my forces will strike here on Tibet. And if we need to change later, like I said, they can always, they can always beg for our help, can't they? I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. I'm sure that if my elite are so crucial to winning a war, they can beg us for help. I don't mind, I don't mind, you know, seeing a few people grovel. But yes, greetings everybody. Welcome! It's a lovely morning on Tibet. By the way, uh, again, I recommend running easy instead of trivial because you get double double the value of a trivial. And the completion time is relatively the same. So you might want to try running easies instead. If you're going to speed run, if you're going to do the speed run, I highly recommend. Ooh! Gosh, killed by uh, this guy's laser. Of course, the most important thing is to see what they can do. Requesting advanced weaponry. Now let me break character for a little while, right? I'm just going to say it straight. Look, the math is not going to add up because uh, there's going to be something sus here. But for storyline purposes, all right? I got the Trust in me. We're going to strike Tibbet first. Engaging terminal. Then we will adjust things after. No, you don't need to clear all the factories on easy. A lot of people think that it matters, it doesn't. All you have to do is the primary objective, right? You realize that the amount of XP that the outposts give is very little. You'll actually be able to capture about 85% of the XP just by clearing the mission and extracting. There's also another trick. 
there's a lot of new players playing the lower difficulties, right? What you can do is that you can do an easy mission, but join a newbie's mission, join their mission, drop them a mech or whatever, clear the objective for them and then leave. You won't get the contribution, but they will. Alright, this not only helps out new players and helps them grow faster, but it also uh, <coughs> speed contributes in its own way. So that's another trick that a lot of people have been using, especially when they're burned out from just uh, spamming the runs. So these are all the little tricks that uh, we used the other time. Ah, track. See, that's what I like to hear. No need to question orders. That's the way, my friend. That's right. Thinking for yourself is a crime. Looks like we're good Standing to go. Okay, bot drop. Standing in an eagle. Standing in an eagle. Eagle one, returning to destroyer for resupply. Hmm. Hello, robot. Now, this is pretty I good. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Ooh, new subscriber. I like it. Don't forget to like the stream, fam. Every like helps us spread even more democracy. Be careful of those cluster bombs. <laughs> That's okay, Renner. How many you like? They're fabricated near this thing. Apparently not. I can see. Watch out, Glade, they are dropping a whole lot of crap on us. Okay, they're abandoning. I think we better go. Since these guys are not the stand and fight type. Okay, they're speedrunners as well.
devastating. Hmm. And of course, we're in range when we are to you. Lovely. Where's the enemy artillery? There. Depends whether or not they can reach us. Falling down supplies. Hosting orbital. Okay. Calling in extraction. Extraction shuttle inbound. I suggest calling the ones in Durgan, Kevin. For sure. Those guys are really wasting a lot of time. But anyway, we are on a completely different planet as well, so I can't really blame them. The only ones who can screw up this order, to be honest, is us, so it's going to be interesting to see how this one goes. I personally, like I said, in my role as commander, I'm going to lead the assault on Tippet for now. But. Be right back. Okay. I'm gonna lead the assault on Tibbet, but uh, we shall see how the war situation develops. We do have four days after all. I'm sure we can make some progress in that time. I think that guy is literally trying to team kill you. Hmm. Killed by his own turret. Lovely. I think these two randoms may not be a good fit for the team. The newbies from this morning were a lot better. Reloading. Hello, Molly. Oh, it's not undoable at all. I think we're going to have some fun with it. <laughs> You've discovered the secret mosh bear. Shh. For storyline purposes, you know, we just relax and enjoy. Oh, it's not treasonous talk. It's not undoable, it's just very difficult. But there will be, uh, shall we say, like I said, uh, enjoy the way the storyline develops. Forgive the lozenges. Lots of coughing today. You know, did too many speeches, strained my voice a bit, so you're gonna have to forgive me for that. Hopefully it'll still be an enjoyable show for you. But anyway, like I said, just look forward to the story. Ooh. Should not have been checking in my super commander emails. Ah, Pelican one's here. Come fam. Stand by for takeoff. We're out of here. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 beginning ascent. It is how it is, Graves we of Hypocrisy. Hell divers will dive in their own way.
like I said, the biggest problem with this order is not going to be the order. It's going to be us. Sorry, replying to comments as well. You've got the bots on the run. Or well, if you like it, uh, not important. I think it's still an overall nerf for me. It here, has fallen here. into a niche pick. The galaxy awaits your salvation. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Let's see how these guys do on the next one. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods prime. <laughs> Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Yeah, three rail cannons to take down one, but they're fine. You can also use quasars, things like that. We've taken them one without rail cannon. But yeah, the Arc Thor, I would say, again, I stand by what I've said about it. Honestly, it's a niche pick now for me. Fun to stun lock hulks, but I could just throw a stun grenade and down a hulk in two shots from auto cannon. So, um, I would say, look, a lot of people right now, I get that they are that they're like, oh my god, I can stunlock Hulk, that's great, but I will not feed into the Copium party. It was an overall nerf because the range is too short. 50 meters is fine. 35 is too short for that weapon. And while it still has a niche, I think that overall it's not as good as it was before. And I'm disappointed in that because I feel that... They should have either made the charging time one second fine, or done a bit less of a range nerf. Like maybe 10 meters down to 40 meters, fine. 5 meters may not sound that important, but I think that for me that's the difference between a meta pick and a niche pick. So Overall, the arc throw is still, to me, it's a nerf. Alright. Okay, great. Ship destroyed. Let's move. Down the and the of Super Earth. Stupendous dive. Dropping a pin. Northeast. Far. Going down a support weapon. Calling down a support weapon. Group up on me, and then we will uh, carry on. I love the ragdolls. Alright, we're heading for the big one first, then we'll grab the one next to extract. Let's move. There's a defenses nearby. Okay, we gotta get that AA as soon as we also take this radar. Resupply here, and then we move on. I think F3 has got this, so once we resupply, we'll go take the AA.
Good. I'm very happy to hear that, Kevin. All right. Once we've resupplied, you and me, Glade, we're going to go take on those uh, AA guns, which are pretty much dead ahead. Also, point of interest to our left, we're going to deviate, and then we'll go there. We go left first, and then we grab it. And then we'll head... Yeah, we'll head to that drone fabricator. I see it. I'm on it. Mission map updated. Supplies. Okay, nothing important. Clear the AA, and then after that we clear the uh, the big fab. Sending in an eagle. You'll get plenty of medals as we go. No need to even think about it. Just shoot them with the auto cannon. No need to wait for the vents. That's it. Good. Onward. Now we go take on the drone fabricator, shall we? Okay. I hope you're behind me, Glade. <laughs> uh, yeah, just uh, deal with some. Leave them to the randoms. Elite forces move fast. Sub objective nearby. Besides, they're almost level 50, they can handle it. Tagging location, east. Sample, southeast. New mag! Alright. I'm gonna drop the bomb right on the facility. Probing in a right help bomb! Just keep me covered until we are clear. Excellent. I got the terminal. L bomb arm, clear the area. Good, we're clear. <laughs> now we got a watch that's destroyed because I heard that the hell bomb sometimes fails. So reloading. Wait long enough for it to explode. Lovely. Beautiful. North. Hell yes. All right, let's go north. But anyway, don't you worry because um, for those of you concerned about metals, don't worry, you'll get them back super fast. And then eventually you'll be like us. We don't even care about metals because we we're capped out. Just waiting for the next war bond. Oh, that's a base. Okay. Yep, eagle. Sending in an eagle. Calling in a hell bomb. Wait, it's not dead. Oh. Uh, I think I got it from here. There we go. Okay, onward. Uh, left. North. Don't worry about that. First, we gotta see if we can scoot around this patrol. Reloading. Yep, they're not firing, so. Calling in a hell scoot bomb. around them. Should be alright. <coughs> Strike. Blowing up the turret. Clear. Elbow armed. The area. Nothing important here. Just gonna grab the ammo. 
Is there any stims down there? Uh, there's only grenades as far as I saw. You can check the stims though. Take your time. No rush. Hmm. There's a nasty turret somewhere. Watch out for the turret. It's definitely somewhere. But I can't tell where. Yeah, it's coming from behind us. Yep. Objective critical strategy available. Once we're in this base though, which is fine. It doesn't seem to have anything in here. A berserker. Yeah, I found that turret that was blasting us too. Sorry, what? Uh, the turret that was shooting at us. Oh, come. oh. okay. Nice. I got the terminal. Okay, let's go. Defenders dive. So your mic was unclear, I didn't understand that. I'm just bombing those drops. Reloading. I'm so sorry, dude, your voice is so muffled. I have no idea what you're using for a mic, but I can't understand you. Oh, sorry, I really had my head up. I was just uh, taking care of those bots. Okay. Alright. That area should be done. I'm moving to where R4 is, because there's a little fabricator here. Requesting air support. Okay, that should be clear. <laughs> yeah, we, we successfully de defended Vandalon 4. That was on the morning stream, I believe, so we cleared it. some melee weapons are you sure well I'm looking forward to the new warbone whatever it is I'm sure it'll be fun I'm always open to something new I mean I literally got nothing to spend my medals on so it would be nice but I'm also very concerned because right now the biggest thing that they need to fix are the crashes once they deal with that I'll be a lot more satisfied because as much as I love this game I think that if they want long term their player base to Aside from the war, which is keeping a lot of people invested, 
they do need to sort of get their game fixed and like make sure that there's minimal crashes and stuff. If people if people don't enjoy playing the game or they don't enjoy like sticking with the game long term because they feel frustrated by crashes and stuff, um, no amount of good community driven war stories will keep them invested. So I think it's going to be very important that they at least look at fixing that stuff. If they can settle that, it'll be all good. Okay, extraction's coming in. Very good for you. Well, I mean, there were some points where we were crashing after every mission, but we don't know what specifically is causing the crashes. Some people get lucky because their settings prevent those from happening, but uh, it really depends. Well, Shyman, we'll have to see. I personally think it's going to be an interesting one. This will be our first faction elimination, assuming we can get our shit together. But like I said, it'll depend on how the story develops. I'm going to address one thing though when we get back to the ship. Um, I've seen a lot of comments coming in with people saying that we need to defend Maya, oh sorry, rather we need to liberate Maya first to cut off the automaton's escape route. What makes them think that the automatons didn't come from outside of our galaxy in the first place? <coughs> if they arrived on this sector, you know, and if, like, suspending belief, right, for, for a little bit, if we are going to get an Illuminate Faction, realistically speaking, the Illuminate Faction is also going to come in from outside of the galaxy. Because they currently hold no territory. So, what makes them think that the Automatons can't come from outside of the galaxy and strike at one of the Outer Rim's... Outer Rim planets? I mean... If that's the case, right, there's no need to cut off their escape within a sector. Rather, destroy their production facilities first, and then strike at the rest of them, you know? Like, to me, that would make a lot more sense, but I think a lot of people forgot that what you see on the screen isn't it. It's kind of like, you know, how you do a test and there's a back page, and most people don't think about the back page? Yeah, there's a back page. Because quite frankly, after we eliminate them, they're going to strike somewhere else in the galaxy. So, I hope people realize this. Yeah, I know. The Illuminates will just show up and own territory, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah. I don't think they'll have to add another galaxy. This one should be large enough to accommodate up to four factions. What I want them to, see, what I want them to do is have some cross-faction wars in future. I think that'd be really cool. If, you know, we had, like, Terminids and Automatons fighting, and we can sort of, like, be the third dog on the planet. Like, a three-way fight would be cool. Maybe even a four-way with the Illuminate, but yeah. I hope that people realize that the automatons aren't finished completely. We're going to drive them out of the galaxy for a while, but they will be coming back. If you're a bot sympathizer, what the hell are you doing in my stream, man? Either way, I say we of the Super Earth Elite will continue to strike at their production facilities right here. Hopefully those on Maya can finish things up. Nope, crashed. You know. Yeah, that's normal. Yes, don't have to see these guys anymore. Woo! Happiness.
If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm shaping the storyline in my mind. <laughs> hey, Yuri. Yes, it does, Noel. But you need to know how to spam them. Yeah, personal order completed. Didn't even have to lift a finger. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for Glade to rejoin me. Then I'll open up the final mission and set. Now, um, when, you, when you're spamming easy missions, it's possible, but what you have to understand is that, number one, with the easy mission, um, the best way to get contribution is to complete the objective and extract. So it's a bit different from trivial spam. One of the techniques that we do, Noel, is that if you're high level enough, then join somebody else's mission. Allied destroyer Don't has start your squadron. own easy mission, right? Join somebody Engaging else's mission. Help them finish the mission and then leave. That way they can extract at their own discretion and finish the mission in their own way. Orbit, um, this is really helpful to newbies because newbies get a chance to try and of course leave them high level equipment like mechs, whatever. Newbies get a chance to try it out and at the same time you can contribute to the warfare. Now you yourself will not be getting liberation but other people will get liberation um, as you do this. So yeah, that is one way to help out though. You're gonna nap A star? Alright, after your nap I better see you on the war front. Good evening, Yuri. Not gonna join tonight? Or Damn, overnight work night. sucks. Alright, either way, I'm gonna wait and see if uh, our lobby fills up a little bit. Yeah, I'm looking forward to more stuff coming because they definitely have a lot more units planned. Um, trivial seems better, more XP per hour. Uh, yes and no. It can be, but um, easy missions are usually better because they're about double trivial. So what people normally do is the method I described, Graves of Hypocrisy. You join somebody else's easy mission, clear it for them, and then let them extract at their own discretion. Most likely, Zofraz, they say that it will, stop the, um, it will stop the automatons from leaving the sector. Uh, but like I said, I, I already made the counterpoint for that, Zofraz. I said, what makes them think that the automatons can't Hell come from outside of the galaxy on a completely different Hell sector? They don't seriously think that after all the time they spend designing these enemies that okay automaton's gone they're they're no longer in the game forever they just introduced new units for them i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna tell you don't don't fall into that trap this is why the idea is that we are going to strike tibet destroy their production facilities so that their regeneration rate goes down and then we clear the rest but um like i said people are gonna do what people want to do so that's okay i will let them do what they want to do we will do what we do. Because we're the super earth elite. And like I like I told everybody, you know, if they really need if they really need our help on Maya. Hmm. I mean people might people might say this makes me a little kinky, but I think they can beg. They can always beg for our help, yeah. I've got ten toes. I'm sure they can. Uh, I'm sure they've got ten tongues for ten toes, right? <laughs> I mean, if they really, really need my elite forces to go from Tibet to Maya, I don't know. Well, they can always beg. They can come to my stream and say, "My lord, real Asian robot, please. We are in dire need of your elite troopers who can speed run content. Would you kindly come to Maya and help us out?" And I'll say, "Hmm, maybe, maybe." Well, good. If they're not going to beg, then they better take Maya before I get there. Now then, let's begin the assault on Tibet again. Joel could pull him a level on. Um, and, well, there's a lot that he can do right now with this war situation. You know it, Zofraz. But anyway, there's a lot that can go on right here. It's literally the first day of this order, so I say let it develop. See what happens. I think it's going to be a very interesting one. <laughs> but I'm also quite confident that we can. That we can win. That we can actually beat the automatons. I think it will happen. But the main thing that we're going to have to do now is mainly overcome ourselves. Going down a sentry. Morning, you are leaving the mission area. Morning. 
Like I said, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be a damn good one. their mortar here Jesus against the automatons as you guys know um, tactically speaking if you move outside like close to the edge of the mission area you can put your mortars down here and it's very safe so you don't want to really put them in there of course you risk turning trade you get getting the trader detected status but try to avoid this positioning because it makes it hard for them to shoot Super Earth's bravest mortar for sure. I'm gonna go here. There we are. I'll take care of things on this front. Whoops. Damn. I thought I was inside it. My bad. Clay, could you throw me toward the right, thanks? Or, I don't know if you threw me down, but whatever. Works good. I'm gonna go... Ah, there it is. Perfect. Hulk squished! Now, where was I? Thanks, down. Hey, okay, so apparently this is also still outside the zone. But I'm literally inside the map, so I don't know. Not quite sure how that's supposed to work. I'm gonna throw down another mortar. I know, right? Not important. Oops. That was a big oops. They won't, Nikajo. They'll come back. But I think they're gonna at least let us get a first faction victory because we have to experience it once. Like it's a, it's a, it's a live war situation, you know. So because it is ultimately, I'm throwing you down right now, buddy. Uh, since it is a woo live war situation, I'll get him. He's dead. Already uh, smoked him. But I thank you regardless. I'm stealing your backpack. I'll return to you shortly. I need to reload my gun. Okay, here's the backpack back. Hang on, wait. I, I I didn't see chat for a second, but did somebody say fanfic? What? <laughs> okay. I don't engage with fanfic, but that's interesting to know. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, I guess technically I write my own fanfic since I started this whole Super Earth Elite Forces shtick anyway. But that is pretty cool. Woo! Oh, I'm dead. There is there is lore, but I'm not sure if they help each other. I I didn't play Helldivers one, so honestly, I am unsure. Blade, could you just throw us in there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Somebody else threw us down. That's good. Join the Now that's an assassination. The Illuminate are definitely coming. They are definitely coming. They're definitely on the way. And that's exactly what this is all about. 
I'm clearing the shredder tank now. Come on, Glade. Uh, I can't find the door. Okay, blow yourself up. I'll call you in. Easy. You you can just literally blast the thing at your feet, buddy. <laughs> I have explosion and heavy armor on. It wasn't working very well. This guy's a noob. Come on, Q4. Is that dude collecting samples? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, I see. He was ready to threaten the Senate of Super Earth. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's true, you know? Like I said, if they really, really need my elite forces, you know, they can, they're always welcome to beg for aid. I mean, if not, surely they can, uh, they can clear Maya by themselves, right? Uh, some people haven't gotten the medals yet. I don't know because I'm capped out on medals, but, uh, wait. Because what they've said is that they are delivering the medals, it's just gonna take them some time. You have maintained our way of life. Well, if Tibbet won't affect the decay, it doesn't really matter. We're still gonna strike Tibbet. Because I firmly believe that Tibbet is their stronghold. So, irrespective of what the managers say, I don't care what the managers say. For my storyline purposes, me and my elite forces are gonna strike Tibbet. We're going to lay siege to their strongholds. We will break them down. It's part of our narrative. But, you know, like I said, if they need me, they know where to find me. But yeah, I don't actually expect uh, Tibbet to reduce the regeneration rate. Did you see how much squad impact we got there? Because I missed it. I did not. Dang. Now, out of character, what I'm actually doing is um, I'm keeping a very close eye on the war situation because I'm seeing I'm seeing what the numbers are doing on Maya right now. You've got the bots on the run. I'm not or too worried. I'm not too worried actually an about. Ally destroyer um, coordinates received. I'm actually not too worried about the Tibet situation. More likely, we're gonna have to get the people the off Durgan. The Galactic War, a battleground awaiting your heroic Tibet intervention. people can be moved, but the Durgan people, I don't know what they're doing. We are probably gonna have to move the Durgan people too. The bots plunder this but anyway, look forward to how we resource. evolve the storyline. Hey, Grumkull. You just got yourself a super chat. Nah, 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 nah. Don't reveal my secrets that I'm borrowing from a lot of uh, store, you know, sci-fi stories out there. You're gonna reveal how I do my whole thing. Engaging orbital thrusters. Anyway, there's four days, but. Realistically speaking, the main important thing is to make this as fun and hilarious an experience for everybody as we can, so that's my main goal. That's why I like doing things the way I like doing things. It makes it fun and interesting. Well, all right. Now then, Grum Call, you lovely soldier. Thank you so much for the super chat. Here's a salute for you. Uh, not really, Sly, but like, okay, look. In character, you know, like I said, these people can beg for my assistance if they want. I am leading my elite forces to Tibet, but realistically, um, you know, out of character. You know, 
if we if we were to, if we were if I were to talk seriously, um, one thing that we need to take into account is number one, we are gonna have to eventually concentrate our forces. We are gonna have to concentrate our forces and eventually choose to take one planet, but there must be a storyline reason for it. So also, it's not so fun if I just say, hey, let's all dogpile this one thing and we do this. So storyline wise, I'm crafting a narrative as well to like. Cause like this, this the whole thing that is like all this. What is all this about? It's about creating a story. It's about creating you know this interesting narrative that we are all as a community a part of, and that's that's the main like goal here. You know, so realistically, it doesn't really matter where we go, and we can do all sorts of things. But ultimately, we are gonna have to you know sort of come together as a community and focus up on one planet, which we will, which we will. Oh crap! Oh crap! I didn't reload. Sending in an eagle. But anyway, they've definitely set up something very interesting. So we'll see how it develops on their end as well. Because the unpredictable thing will be the actions taken by Arrowhead. Why is there screaming? I'm hearing so much screaming. I get shot. Lull. In an eagle. Okay, that should be done, right? Just one eagle? Okay, good. It landed perfectly. Why don't we go to the eastern side and uh, clear out the bases along the way? Should be easy enough. No, what's going on with YouTube today? YouTube's like Just literally done. I think those guys are level 20, they, but they're gonna die. It's gonna be great. Well, that's fine. I mean, let them let them try. They have to learn eventually. Uh, I mean, I'm not hoping that they die, but, you know, we'll let them try the assault their way. The best way to learn is school hard knocks. We'll revive them if they... They end up, you know, fighting it. Oh, they ignore it. They're, they're following us. Okay, fair enough. That works. There's an AA emplacement. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can you give me a little smack? Oh, do you have the bug? I do. That should work. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, we are heading to the AAs. Let's clean up that. Yeah, there's definitely a connection issue somewhere because I just saw I just saw a lot of stuff happen. Oh, listen, Captain Confusion, I have no doubt about that. But for storyline purposes, like I said, they can beg if they need my elites. We shall strike Tippet. For well, that is their stronghold. I will not deviate from my course. I am commander of this operation. My forces, stay with me. Shit, where, seriously, where, how far is that AA? Yeah, it's down here. Sending in an eagle. Yeah, that's clear. The bot's 100% sabotaging the stream, man. Requesting air support. Oh my god, I didn't know you could, like, see the AA guns from that far away. That's actually pretty swanky. Okay. Near your position. Orbital inbound. Firing orbital laser. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Hey, new subscriber. Yeah, no, the stream was always stable on my end. I'm pretty sure it was a YouTube error. Because I wasn't having... Like, if I look at my OBS, right, I can always see my drop frames and stuff like that. There were none. There was zero drop frames. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Because my own phone was having issues, like, with the, with the stream. I was like, what? Calling in orbital strike. And that shouldn't happen because it's literally all one singular connection. We got the A, the C site done. Okay, 
Okay. Go ahead and take them out, I got this. How the heck did you die? I don't know. Ah, damn. I got snipped too. But that was from the bots. Anyway, you should be coming down. Thank you. Yep, finish that off. Engaging terminal. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Then it was suddenly so quiet. Democracy has Okay, where's my cannon? Yeah, there it is. Okay. Tagging map. North, 300 meters. Yeah, it's it's 100% YouTube's end, I can tell. So. I got the laser saved up for this one. Good. We should join our uh, new crew up there. By the way, hi, Tree Saint. Well, apparently some people, Cream Taco, said that the, uh, it won't affect it, you know? But, anyway, I don't care. I'm a salty tippet anyway. Why? Because my forces will be on this planet. Ooh, a hole! Oh, a hole! Well. I mean, I, I know you, I know you wanted to explode yourself, but you didn't have to explode and lazy yourself, man. Damn. Gotta make sure you get the job done fully. <laughs> this guy. Yeah, you might want to check the Discord, Cream Taco. Apparently, that's what they're saying in there, but it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. If I cared what the Discord was saying and doing, I would have gone to Maya with everybody else. No! I am Hell Commander, real Asian robot. I will do what I see fit, and my elite forces will go where I say they will. Lol. I put his head through it. Love that. Much easier. Where's the dropped SSD? Oh, it's here. Package acquired. Calling down supplies. Processing. I'm gonna go grab loot. I mean supplies. Okay, here we go. I got the terminal. Dropping a pin. West. Far. 
But anyway, Glade, you shall now be forever remembered for saying, I got my laser ready for this, then instant death. Extraction awaits. <laughs> he was about to have a moment of glory, and the glory was denied. <laughs> Yeah, I fell right in that hole. Just when I was about to stun him. Could you call me down over there? Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Calling in reinforcements. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. There we go. Ready to liberate. Requesting orbital strike. Ah, there's uh, my I stuff. Think I found your stuff. Yep, thanks. We would have really needed a loser. Stop blasting. Ooh. That was just really bad positioning there. Oh, let's see. This is dead. I'm gonna reload. Okay. Tagging map. West, 200 meters. Okay, done. Tagging map. East, far. Well, I hope so. But either way, I don't foresee us making much progress on Tibet. The best we can do is hold the line. Extraction is available. Fighting the good fight every day, Teddy. You know it. Calling an extraction. Auto cannon turret is very sus. I'm gonna 
stand on top of it and dive. Oh, cool. Did you know that there's one of the skulls on the uh, sole of your boot? There's one of the what? A skull on your boot. No, I didn't know that. Take the screenshot. Get on the ship, Blade. Extraction complete. Hello, Ted. I'm glad you're enjoying watching me, though. But yeah, YouTube just had a bit of an error, but other than that, I can't really say there's uh, too many problems today, so let's all have fun. And we crashed. Lovely. Well now. <laughs> you know, Helldivers crashing, I don't mind. YouTube crashing. The AMR? I think the AMR is a fantastic weapon. It's got less utility than the autocannon, but it frees up your backpack slot. So, if you want to run the AMR, just remember that you might not be able to take out fabricators. But you can still technically take out uh, gunships, drone gunships, and all that. Effectively, it's the same weapon, just it's not explosive, so it cannot take out fabricators and the like. But it can do pretty much what the autocannon does. So, uh, AMR and autocannon are pretty much equivalent just that less utility that's all but it frees up the backpack slot how many crashes thus far today uh two oh if you You're prone here. you can see it on your boots that's the it galaxy awaits your salvation allied destroyer has joined squadron there's glade engaging orbital thrusters all right let's go on a blitz mission mission coordinates locked Hellpods prime wait is anyone uh using the welcome aboard the new cape? No, right? Just checking your cape. Synchronized. Okay, no. I, I, I'm I convinced. I know it sounds stupid, but I think the new cape... Oh, excuse me. It's causing some crashes. Weirdly enough, you know, it took off the cape this morning, but it didn't crash as much. You had fun running rail and EAT. What? What? Railgun and EAT sounds. Hmm. <laughs> very, very not right. Yeah, you never know, man. It could be the cape. Could be. Could be. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. 
Yeah. Either way, I, I still could never adopt a uh, real gun style. Ooh. Orbit synchronized. Yeah, they are dangerously dubious, Double Davidson. Now yeah, listen, as long as you're having fun and contributing, you know, do whatever you want, man. That's the best part about stuff like this. But of course, in character, I have to say, how dare you not use my meta loadout? You see this hand? This hand will have to reach through the computer and slap you down. Hello, Niles. Now, let's continue to spread some liberty and democracy. There's one fabricator down. This is it. This is the you are in range of enemy artillery. Defend democracy. Oh. I'm in range of enemy artillery. Lovely. Let's see where it is. I'm gonna go toward the enemy artillery. You guys got dropships, so I'm gonna ditch you guys. Smell you later. Requesting orbital. Requesting air support. Recording you are in range of enemy artillery. Have a taste of democracy. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Yes, I figured that out. Reinforcing. Okay, more time placement clear. Uh, let's see. Calling in reinforcements. I'm heading launched. this way. Tagging map, southwest, 200 meters. Oh, listen, this is the best way to enter. You always got to do a hot drop, all right? Once you reach that stage where you're an elite trooper. You know, there's no such thing as I'm gonna take it easy or do a safe drop. No, 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 no. Everywhere is a drop zone for professional. Mission at 10 minutes remaining. Standing in an eagle! Reloading me boat gun. Ah, the two fabs we need are there. Easy. Requesting air support. Reloading. Oh, it's high noon somewhere in the world. Good cover, Glade man. Now this will either wipe out the whole thing. Another trial from Manny. Second one, the one. May liberty guide Sick. your good work. Dropping a pin. Now the 300 meters. Now I say we skedaddle and get out of here. There's a stratagem jammer up ahead. We're gonna have to be careful. Okay, you got it. Good. He's gonna die Thomas on that post down. Calling you back in.
Okay. Shit's about to be wild. Ooh, I got ragged out. Are we going for that jammer? Uh, I can just blow it up. You head to extraction. Get me that ship. Copy that. Jammer out. Heading to extraction now. Phew, ladies and gents, now that's what I call a blitz mission, eh? The push was on Maya. I mean, yeah, it technically is. And Philip, I live on the other side of the world, buddy. I'm in Australia. This is all within a day. I am on in the mo I've got two streams per day, one in the morning, one in the evening. Both are within the same day cycle. I stream at uh, noon my time, and then at 9 p.m. again. How goes the liberation of Tibet? Terrible! Well, so far, I've, I've deployed only my elite forces here, and we're uh, doing what we can. But quite frankly, the automaton resistance is a lot higher than we expected. Uh, we may have to adjust our tactics, but, you know, I'll never admit that to the other commanders of the super Earth elite forces. You know, I'll, uh, I'll probably do a little bit of a propaganda video later, you know, swing the story narrative in my favor. Then, uh, then I will see, but honest answer, terrible. Uh, there's a runner coming for you. Oh, there he is. Was that for a second, I thought you said there was a Rena coming for me. Damn. I just realized that there's a little fab here. I'm just going to delete it. Come back. I'm right back. Yo, why'd you invite all the berserkers to the party? Got more coming that way. Exactly, Matt Hudson. So, uh, you know, like I said, don't don't lose spirit just yet. There's there's gonna like I told you, I'm gonna swing a storyline about this. <laughs> Assassin, I like that. I like that. Yes, I need all my elite forces on Tibet right now. Good. Bring it on. And if anyone tells us to go elsewhere, I tell you, they can beg. Beg, I tell you, beg. Like I said earlier, I got ten toes, one for each of these commander's tongues, alright? They need my lead forces from Tibet to move elsewhere, they can come right here. <laughs> but anyway, no, I'm, I've got a storyline coming. You know, I like, I, like, you we can't, we can't just be so boring and you know, the expected thing. No, no. You gotta, everything's gotta be part of the narrative. No, 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 no. I'm not a feat yet. I'm just saying, the ultimate form of deference, you know, right here. <laughs> I'm not a feat guy person. Okay, I'm not a feat guy. I swear. But yeah, um, I I want a I want a storyline like justification to move my elite forces elsewhere because to be fair, uh, Tibet is known to be the stronghold of the automaton, so it, it makes no sense for me not to attack it first. Indeed, assassin. Indeed, they have fortified their defenses quite a bit. I'm destroying a lot of facilities out here, as you can see. But yet, we don't seem to be making headway. We may need to change our course, but I will decide that later. For now, keep striking their facilities on Tibet. Meanwhile, I'm keeping an eye on the greater picture of the war. And if we can adjust nice accordingly, down there. Hopefully the colonists will be able to recover we stand a good chance. Around.
Well, Sergeant Moonlight is wearing that uh, cape, and apparently we didn't crash. I see. Now then, we shall pretend that you never said that. I'm sure the cape cars crashes. <laughs> Synchronized. Okay, we're going to drop at the launch code area. We'll wipe out the map in a sort of counterclockwise fashion. But in all honesty, I'm pretty sure the cape doesn't cause a crash. There must be something else inside their system that's currently causing the crashes. Am I from the States originally? Hell no! I'm, I'm actually Singaporean, and I grew up in Australia. You see, mate, sometimes you gotta understand that I don't sound like what you'd expect, right? I just sound like whoever I want to sound like. <laughs> but no, uh, I grew up in Australia. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Yeah, that's the way, Niles. You understand. Could be... Could be Illuminate ships, Assassin. We don't know for sure if they're automaton ships. Detector tower. Tower down. Hey, Marcus. Tibbet is kind of similar to Malevolent Creek, I'll be honest with you about that. I like the planets that look really different. Oh, Blade, you got one guy behind you. Got one. I got two guys behind me. Damn. These bloody clankers. Star Wars are alright. I think the biggest problem with Star Wars is just that it doesn't um, have medium armor penetration. By the way, if I talk like this, I might sound more Australian. I hate ice planets. Any ice planet refused. Because the ice planets, right, they all have the same problem. Not enough loot. I don't know why. This is a weird thing with the ice planets. They never have loot. Or at least not enough. It is what it is, EAB. You know? I'm proud to see so many of my elite forces Damn on nothing. here, but storyline wise, you know, things are going to have to give. But don't you worry, I'll make it fun for all of you. I already got a plan in my mind. But for the rest of tonight's stream, we're not going anywhere other than Tibbet. Rare sample acquired. For tonight, no matter what, strike Tibbet. Ooh, I, I don't know how I didn't blow up there, whoa. But yeah, for the rest of tonight, we strike Tibbet. If for no other reason than for storyline purposes. Air support. Well, that's also true, assassin. Actually, that that's a that's a great idea. I should uh, add that into my storyline that I'm developing. That's a nice one. Thanks for th thanks for reminding me of that. Okay. 
Okay, that was a nice shot. Look. I see these enemies there, so I'm just gonna pick them off. I see. My blizzards never last that long. My blizzards are just like a short while. But I do love the blizzard condition. I find it super good actually. And as for the stalwart getting medium armor pen, and I think, you know, it just never will because obviously it'll make the HMG worthless if it ever got anything other than light armor pen. So, sadly, we're kind of stuck with the Star Wars in its current state. When would be the next War Bond release? I'm really not so sure. Mr. Ung Chen. I will just have to wait and see. They said this, there will be one every month. So I'm assuming it should be soon. I believe next week, Thursday? I can't be certain though. Behind us. Oh. Oh. My God. Set. The 15th set. 15th or the 9th? I thought it was the 9th. I can't be, but yeah, I could be wrong. 11th. Yeah, maybe the 11th. Yeah, and all of these dates, I'm out of whack in my mind. But that does sound logical. Okay. I'm gonna go east, take out the broadcast, and head north. Eagles back from the nest. No. The war bonds will never end. War bonds just exist forever. So there's no timer on it. It's not a battle pass. Many people are too used to battle passes, so they think that the war bonds will end just like a battle pass, but it doesn't work that way. The war bonds are never ending. So what will happen is that there will just be more and more war bonds for everybody. And eventually you will just have like dozens and dozens of choices. Like effectively what, um, oh there's a protector tower there. I'm just gonna kill the illegal broadcast station. Get that detector tower lasered. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a laser beam on it. I'm going for a laser beam on it. 
You don't have to. To save yours for the next big base oh, or something. Oh, pull! Just kidding. <laughs> Hey, there's actually a big base. Uh, you can use the laser on that, actually. Because I'll save my last laser for the end, just in case of a walker. Do those spawn on level 7? I don't know. We can try. Every second Thursday of the month? Ah, nice. That's gonna be cool. But yeah, they won't end any of the war bonds, so okay, we just bomb that base, Glid, and then after that we can hit the big one. You know what I wish they'd release in this game, Mr. Ng Chin? I wish they'd release a Trinity Ghoul so I could finally. Ooh, that bounced back! Sorry, what, Glid? I bounced that one back at me. Ah, okay, so all I heard was, I'm a noob totally missed that. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's go. Let's go, pal. Next one. It's okay. I got you covered. Even if you fail your throws stupendously, I got you covered. Uh, wait, before you orbital? Oh, damn. I was gonna say, we might... Because those turrets are going to be an issue. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Hopefully the laser will last long enough. Please, 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 please. Ah, shh. That's okay. I got some 40 though. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Ooh, I got shot by a laser. That's okay. You just got yes! Yes! We'll look forward to uh, having you back with us. Oh shit, late. I got you, buddy. Why is there a bot drop detected? Oh, it's not near us. Okay, we can just abandon these guys. I'm gonna go straight to the ICBM. Looking forward to you coming back. Oh yeah, absolutely. The war bonds are 100% paid for by the citizens Super Earth, but when they have enough war bonds, right? What will encourage is like um, the newer players who want to catch up. They'll get, they'll spend to catch up faster. Some of them will. Some will farm. Some will, you know, do whatever. But like, basically, that's how they'll keep the studio going. Meanwhile, us loyal players who are shaping the uh, galaxy right now, you know, we get to earn. We get the time to earn for every war bond. I think that's great. Honest, honest to God, I cannot wait to see all that they do, everything that they that they're gonna, you know, make happen. Did I just waste my ammo? Oh my god, nobody saw that. Nobody saw me fail so hard on that reload. Reloading. Okay, never happened. I am the ultra elite commander of the elite. And I will never ever miss my shots or, you know, fail like that. Yeah, BBS got a new job. He's, re he's gonna be like uh, some kind of super sexy man or something like that. Oh, that's right. Forklift guy. <laughs> I.e. super sexy man, so that's exactly what he's going to do now. Yes, he's now forklift certified, for real. So it's not a meme, he's actually forklift certified. Okay, while well, Glade does that, I'm going to open these up. Oh, you two track hoodie? Damn! Forklift certified, yo! Yo! Guys, y'all gotta stop oozing so much sex appeal in my chat, okay? I want I want people to love me, not you guys. <laughs> ICBM's raising its launch position, good. Alright. These clowns trying to be Mandalore. What the? Fine. I guess they're gonna bot drop on us. Whatever. Ending 
Your war days are over, huh? Outstanding. Yeah, I'm gonna stop them. Um, my hours are actually in the stream description, JD. Uh, don't forget, I'm Australian. I live on the other side of the world. So if you need to know my stream hours, they are all in the description of the video. I have a stream schedule there. Um, it actually explains it. But basically, I go live at noon my time, and then again at 9 p.m. my time. So two streams per day. It's a pretty simple schedule, but then again, I am a full-time content creator, so... That's a schedule that works for me. I don't like to do the eight, nine hour shifts because I it, that really kills my voice. I mean, as is, like when I get into things, I really overstrain my voice. I sucked like half a pack of lozenges already. Only thing keeping me alive right now. That was like copping myself all over the stream. Setting, I have no idea what that command is intended to do, Mr. Wayu. <laughs> Oh, I see. You no longer work in the field. Fair enough, Tri Hoodie. Look at all these people forklift certified. Hey, listen, the war speeches. You know, I got, I gotta put some character into them. Cause if I don't, well, listen, Mario the God, you go tell everybody. Hell Commander, real Asian robot said we're going to Tibet. Why the hell are they going somewhere else, huh? They following some other commander? Tell ya. I tell you, these people, of course we're gonna lose. Of course we're gonna lose. Because people can't get shit straight. I told them, I want my super earth elite forces on Tibet. Did they listen? They all like, nah, 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 nah. We going to Maya. A plan, a plan that has uh, like... Them. Okay. A planet that has like no freaking relevance. Other than some guy said, hey, this can stop the uh, automatons from being in the galaxy. You really think... That they are ever gonna leave the galaxy just because of that. Like, that's not how it works, man. Following you back in. What the? Huh? I got killed by something. It said I killed me, but whatever. We all know that's a lie. Uh, you're talking about crashes, why you? Yeah, the crashes are happening to everybody. There's no setting you can change to solve it. We've tried everything, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really work. So, uh, honestly, nothing much you can do. Like, I, I'm, if I'm, if I'm just gonna give you an honest answer, there's nothing much you can do. There's no real solution. I think there's just something in their game that's causing crashes, but we don't know what it is. Gotta book it. Dropping a pin. Southwest, 300 meters. Oh. Reinforcing. I'm calling this guy back down here. Do I ever get massive spiders in my home? Um, not really, to be honest. Um, people think that you're gonna get spiders everywhere, but honest to god, like, unless you're gonna live in the outback, you're not gonna have spiders everywhere. Cities are just like anywhere else in the world. The bots don't follow supply lines, no. Like I said, a lot of people, you know, everybody said, oh, Maya, 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 but I said, what makes you think that the bots can only attack from planets and supply lines? They can attack from outside of the galaxy too. 
I mean, where did they come from in the first place? They didn't just end up on the czar sector on the fringes of our society just by, you know, like, uh, dis like one day appearing there. No, you know, they came, they had to have come from somewhere. If they come from outside the galaxy, and like, look, even if we win this, right, they're not going to totally eliminate automatons. Automatons will come back in a different sector. They're going to have to come back from outside of the galaxy. You know, it's not like every race only has one spawn point. That, that's not how this is supposed to work. So, you know, there's no point in, like, killing Maya. Like, for me, I would just say, okay, we can just kill Tibbet first and then go on. But that was my plan anyway. But, you know, like I said, we will see. We will see. We can adjust things. I'm already crafting a good storyline in my head for all this. Exactly, Assassin. We should go, after we're done saving our galaxy, we're going to go invade their galaxy. You know, just like good soldiers should. Because this is what champions do. <laughs> um, look, there are spiders here, but like, you're not gonna encounter them like, oh my god, everywhere. No, if you go to a resort or a hotel, like, it's not gonna be spiders crawling around the freaking ground or some shit like that. But if you genuinely have arachnophobia, you still might want to stay away because you never know what might end up. Like, you might end up seeing like outside or whatever so I mean not like they're roaming our streets like I said our cities are normal but what's this guy doing this s4 just attached himself to me ETA T minus 30 seconds This is the funniest double gunner set that I've ever seen. This is Pelican One. I have visual on the extraction oh. zone. Pelican One landing sequence initiated. Watch where you're standing. What planet do you recommend to attack? Uh, look, if you really want to help the war effort, Ted, go to Maya right now and just spam those uh, trivial missions. Uh, if you want to play along with my storyline, attack Tibbet first. Right, EAB? We can go invade some other... God damn it, another crash. Oh well. You finally got your stash, got the mood for Helldivers again. Lol. All right, I'll see you on the battlefield, pal. Uh, the reloader cannot wear the shield pack. In order to reload somebody, you must wear the auto you must wear the auto cannon backpack. Is Tibbet the new Creek? Technically, yes. <laughs> Technically, yes. Like I said, for me, I'm working a storyline, um, and I want like in future as well, because I think a lot of people are misunderstanding the whole point of this. Like, we're not. I'm not gonna do. I'm not going to do an order, you know, in a particular way. I'm going to have a whole storyline for it so that it makes sense to me as well um, and to the players that play the game. But, yeah, right now, in actuality, you want to contribute, Earth. go to Maya first. I mean, eventually oh, we're going to go there as well. But um, story, if you want to follow my storyline, come to Tibbet. And you can and you can join me uh, and the rest of the Super Earth Elite, my personal elite forces, you know, on Tibbet this stream we're going to be playing nothing but Tibbet no matter what no matter whether we make any progress or not and then we'll adjust accordingly okay now wait for Galley to come back wait for Sir Galahad to return I think I'd rather the call in time. Fair enough, Ted. Fair enough. Sounds good, assassin. 
you go ahead. I'll lead the newbies on suicide runs. Of course, JD. I think eventually what we're going to see is illuminate harder, you know, harder factions, more enemies. Oh, excuse me. We're going to see more enemies. We're going to see a lot of stuff coming in. So, you know, I have no doubt that they're going to change this game. Like what we're seeing now is just the basics. They clearly have a strong plan for this. comments while I wait. That's kind of true, Yabi. That's kind of true. Tibbet feels like the end game for bots before they get reinforced. Yeah, technically could be. But yeah, um, well, you know, you know what, like, um, I may as well give you guys a preview while we wait, but like what I'm planning, you know, storyline wise is that, um, after, after the stream ends, I'll probably shoot another video and say that, you know, uh, based on the current war Allied situation and whatever, we've seen, we've seen a drastic, uh, drastically high resistance on the automaton plans. I'll, I'll, I'll take a while to word it. Like. It'll take me a while, but I'll write out a little script, and then what I'm going to say is that, you know, because the automaton resistance is so high, um, I have made the decision, you know, to to bring my elite forces away from Tibet. I've left a garrison there, you know, to hold the planet, but we're going to move our elite forces all the way up to Maya. Like, the, it'll be it'll be more long-winded, you know? Oh, listen, this isn't a spoiler because it's going to be much better later like for me what i do is that always i i i will like script it a little bit beforehand and then because it needs to it needs to fit the vibe you know if if, if if it doesn't if it doesn't get the right vibe you know it's not gonna be cool because like essentially we're when we when i do these and when when i do these videos and when i'm doing all of this Mission right the idea is to suspend belief eventually you know i won't even be breaking character to talk to you guys i think a lot of people are still new to this but like i'm thinking like two three months down the line dude like we're we're gonna be like complete like everybody's just gonna be have completely suspended beliefs about this so that we can enjoy our uh i guess alternate reality you know Okay, you know the drill, buddy. We're gonna drop and run. Yeehaw. Launch initiated. Yeah, sure, you know, if you want to. Yeah. But just so you know just so you know, right, I've been telling this to all the Maya believers. You do realize the automatons can attack from outside of the galaxy, right? They they don't exactly need supply lines. So, uh, I'm pretty sure they don't follow supply lines, as far as I know. Ah, crap. What armor is Glade wearing? Hey, Glade, what armor are you wearing, you nerd? I'm not sure, but it has the explosion resistance and the recoil resistance. Oh, there you go. Wait, what? How do I have a grenade launcher? Oh! I'm very confused. Dude, I, I dropped in with a grenade launcher. What? My mind right now is full of. 
It's full of WTF, mate. Dropping a pin. Northwest, far. Okay, we're gonna go to the northwest one. Oh, you're dead. No worries, here you go. Welcome back to life, you know. Oh me, I've yeah, I've got it. I've got exterminator. Oh, annihilator tank. Sorry, bud. Call me in. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, come on. This one I thought. Oh! That's so annoying. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. Why was that going somewhere so far out of field? Point me to the enemy. Who the frick threw smoke? Damn it. That is annoying. Okay, this, I think this is mine. Alright. Yeah, that's why I'm using the Dominator specifically with my, uh. Specifically with my auto <clears throat> Auto cannon. Oh, what a waste. Just when I prepared. Just when I prepared my ultra deadly rail cannon strike. fortress is up here what type of Asian am I wow that kind of doesn't sound very nice but I know what you mean um, I'm Chinese half Chinese half Indian I am what you would call a Chindian oh Lord delayed what was that I think you, it's from your own stuff man I'm pretty sure you threw the eagle didn't you I see one of them, yeah? Yeah. I'm pretty sure. You, you Wait, yours was the Eagle Airstrike, right? Because mine's 500 kilogram bomb. I threw it in there. So I'm pretty sure yours landed on you. Hmm. Oh, crap. Got to reload. Never forget to reload your auto cannon. Okay, going for the drone facility. Tagging map northwest, 100 meters. You want me to put another shrimp on the Bobby? Jesus. Canto or Mando? I have no idea what you mean. Oh, oh, um, Mandarin. In your well, technically speaking, I'm hiding. But yes, it would be Mandarin. Uh, but don't ever ask me to speak it because, uh, yeah, no. Calling in a hell bomb. Okay, here we go. Glade, call another soul in. I'm tossing supplies beacon. outside, by the way. Clear the area. 
It's armed. Here we go. Good. Dropping a pin. North, 100 meters. Now, why do I see the eye of sword on over there? All right, we'll go. We'll go to the main objective first. Let's get rid of that bunker. You got a laser for it? Negative. Okay, damn. Well, fine. Then we do this the old-fashioned way. Standing in an eagle. Democracy's on its way. Calling in orbit strike. No, just for good measure. Firing orbit strike. There we are. Real cannon worked. Ooh, ooh, who did that? Okay, going north. Trailer for the new war bond just dropped. Sounds good, Jack Or. I'll probably cover it tomorrow. It'll probably be on their channel. Chad Cannon does tend to be the best. Oh. Locked and loaded. Dropping a pin. East, 300 meters. New update, new crashes. Well, let's hope not, eh? But I don't know what is causing the crashes right now, Sangle. Like, I wish I knew, but I don't have an answer for you. I tried a couple of different solutions, but none of it seems to have, like, been something that will work 100%, so, yeah, we still don't know. At first, we thought it was the V-Sync, but, you know, um, I turned it on, off, whatever, didn't work. I, th ooh, super credits. I thought about a couple of different things as well, like, maybe I thought it was the, um, what was it? The can't remember what it's called. Uh, one of the settings. Async. The async settings. Um, but for some reason it made me feel like my settings, my game looked a little weird. Although it shouldn't affect anything graphically. Maybe it was just placebo. But yeah, that, that also didn't work. Because some people didn't have that still causing crashes. So yeah, there's no real answer at the moment. Like I wish there was, but there really isn't. New missions. The new order is uh, liberate the planets, but right now everybody's kind of split up. Still doing our best, though. Uh, Jake, for bots, absolutely, because the auto cannon is just too useful. That being said, there are still other viable weapons, such as the AMR, Quasar. Um, I would say that the most important thing for bots is your team composition. As long as you've got a solid team comp that you know works for whatever you're supposed to do, in general, you'll probably see some very, very good clean runs. That is how it has worked for me. Liberty emerges victorious yet again. Orbital inbound. Extract when ready. Filing orbital Northeast. 
Mm -hmm. What's the best loadout? There's no such thing as a best loadout. Like, there are some meta loadouts, i.e. the most efficient loadouts. But when it comes to best, it also depends on what works for you. Currently, I'm still using my auto cannon loadout. It's still very good. Um, it's just that when I'm speed running on 7, I change the shield, which I don't really need for um, the more offensive stratagems. So that's the only difference, realistically speaking. Uh, other than that, I find that my auto cannon loadout still working. Um, you can also choose to run an AMR with like a rover. AMR with rover is known for being pretty strong because of uh, how much offensive power you have even up close and personal. So AMR with rover is another interesting choice. Um, you could also choose to run like Quasar Cannon with shield generator. So there are a lot of options but it depends on what you, what you know how to use, what you enjoy using and what you overall feel confident using in the first place. So yeah, I would say that it's definitely not one best at this current moment. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Sounds good, Jackor. I look forward to covering it tomorrow. Now, one thing which I will say though is that while there is no best, there is definitely loadouts that are more efficient than others. For example, the use of the auto cannon against automatons would definitely be much more efficient than somebody who's not using that. So, if somebody were to be like using, say, stalwart or a heavy machine gun unless they're super specialized in it they're probably not going to be able to beat an auto cannon and even then they can't take out fabricators like an auto cannon can even the um what you call it even the amr which is really good cannot take out fabricators so every weapon there will be certain differences in strengths and weaknesses of those weapons that'll make them either more or less efficient so that's something to always take into account When we talk about best, best is a hard, is a difficult concept, honestly, God, because ultimately, for me, I don't work on what's best. I only look at efficiency. That means that if I'm gonna run this, it needs to be better at doing its job than everything else in the arsenal. And so far, there are very few that are like that. Calling in orbital strike. Uh, lucid living. I'll tell you the same thing I told all the other Maya people. What makes you think that the automatons are only limited to one sector and they cannot attack from anywhere else? What makes you think they cannot attack from outside of the galaxy? You do realize that eventually this is not this is the first time we have a chance to kill a faction. But at the same time, um, the fact of the matter is factions will not disappear forever, no matter what. I mean that's the whole purpose of the game. The factions aren't always going to disappear, like they're going to be around, they're going to come back, so they can come back in, in a different way, they're not limited to this one area, so yeah. Do squads share personal orders? Yes they do. Oh, listen. Players are still gonna play the game however they want, right? So... If we want to talk about efficiency, I think we have way bigger problems than the players on Tivit. What about Durgan? What about the players on the bug planets? If 
If enemy factions made alliances, that'd be pretty cool. So, Mr. Captain Confusion, uh, we have 37,000 right now on Astanu, 19,000 on Durgan, 17,000 on Fori Prime, 15,000 on Grimska. I think you got a lot more phone calls to make. <laughs> Don't worry about my elites on Tibet. We are, uh, we are holding the enemy back. You need to bring players from other areas first, then we'll join you on mine. But anyway, this war is going to be quite an interesting one, to be honest. We got 83,000 on Maya and they're only making 0.6% progress per hour. Dude, Robo Bug Babies would probably wreck the shit out of us. Maze, welcome back to the Weird Bots. I would be it would be very interesting to see enemy factions not only make alliances, but also fight each other. Uh the hotfix was a long while ago, Maze, and uh you don't have to bring me any Dark Tide news. I'm a, I'm a Dark Tide partner, I get the Dark Tide news straight away. The hotfix was a while back. Or if it's today, then I don't know what it is, but I, they didn't promise an update, Whatever. just so you know. They promised an update of an update. Hello, but yes, please limit conversations tonight. only to Helldivers 2. We are, we are not concerned with other things. Yeah. Well, thank you, but like I said, this is a Helldivers stream. We, uh, we have no concerns about other things, so if you don't mind, I'm keeping my conversation to Helldivers for now. I'll only be returning to Dark Tide when there is an actual update and when their player base actually goes up to about 50,000. Otherwise, not worth it. It's no money for me there. A bile. Oh, this is the medium exterminator armor. Yeah. Well, now you know. There you go. Rena said it earlier, so Rena's, Rena's uh, guess was correct. Yeah, we're going to destroy a whole faction. Or so they say. I don't know if they'll add melee weapons to this game. I am genuinely not 100% sure on that. Maybe? But it would kind of be a little weird if they did. Because we are... Look, let's let's be real here. Uh, all of our propaganda aside, we're really kind of squishy. I, I don't see myself charging a Hulk with a melee weapon. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> Dude, if they, if they introduce a shovel into this game, even more people from Dark Tide will just like, there are like 4,000 players left playing it, will just come over to Helldivers so they can use a shovel. Oh, you just saw what his armor was. Oh, fair enough. Ah, Arcane will be reinforcing us soon. New Major Order, we gotta liberate Tibet, Durgan, and Maya. But currently our forces are split on three planets, with most players on Maya. Uh, my lead forces are on Tibet, obviously, because I'm the coolest. Um, and then the rest are on Durgan for some weird reason. And of course, we got the Bug Hunters who will never budge forever because, you know, doing easy mode hell dives is just glorious for them. So, I mean, I guess some players just like easy mode, you know. We can't be helped. We can't be helped. I always say it's just like what Diva says. Do you want to hear something scary? Easy mode. Captain! Requesting sentry! Calling down a sentry! Requesting sentry! Requesting sentry! Calling down a sentry! Terminal inbound! Calling down a sentry! Requesting advance! Helldiver, you are moving outside the mission area. Aw, oh, come on, really? Damn, I tried to squish it with my auto cannon drop. Did not work out well. Oh well. They got a freaking drop on me outside. Ugh, so annoying. Oh, move. 
Yeah, I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. You don't earn loot. If you're a loot goblin, this is not for you, but you just get your stuff and you pick your loadout and go. But I'll tell you one thing, you can earn every single war bot for free, so there's no need to even pay premium. I mean, I don't know, if you haven't watched much gameplay, then you should be tuning into every single stream. The main, the main thing here is the Galactic War, which pretty much everyone is invested in. So I think it's a fantastic game, in fact it's revolutionary in what it's doing. Compared to all the trash out there that makes you say, hey, we gotta buy these cosmetics and buy this and buy that. This game is a breath of fresh air because it doesn't make you do that. You can literally earn everything in-game just by playing the game. And again, that is a powerful and revolutionary thing. Oh, man. I thought you stunned it. Shit. How the hell is it moving? Uh, there we go. I hate how sometimes right? it bounces. I shot him really. in the eye twice too. Mm. These hulks have weird hitboxes sometimes. Could you never play this game and get the major order rewards? Uh, no. If you never played this game and got the major order rewards, I would literally think that you are a dick. Like, no offense intended, but you'd be a massive dick. I'm pretty sure you have to at least participate a little bit. Both coming up, yeah, I Yeah, I got no stun for it, so. I'm gonna use you as a strategy. That works. Yeah, uh, if people are getting kicked from the game for using new capes, then well. You missed. Damn it. Throw a stun on it. Just get me a stun on it. Oh man. Damn it. Kill that bird. That flamethrower is nuts. No, 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 no. You're too slow with the stun. Such weakness. Last reload! Anyway, squish this. Democracy has landed! Oh, come on. There's another one. Mortar's gone. Request approved. Reinforcements have been launched. Okay, we got the hull. It's done. Point me to the enemy. Now. Requesting sentry. Requesting sentry. Sick of my poor mortar. My turret getting destroyed every single time. Sadness. But I've seen some massive frame rate drops, so there must be some process right now that is uh, causing some level of inefficiency. At least that's what it seems like to me. Because otherwise, it makes no sense that we're seeing like you know all these issues and the crashes. Oh come on! Sorry, fam. I didn't expect it to just drop up there. Well, that's kind of a silly reason for those people to be mad. You know, like, if the Creek players didn't help out, like, I mean, they technically did eventually, but, you know, I don't know. People get mad over weird stuff. I think we should all just enjoy the Galactic War. Because there's no other game right now, you know? Uh, less stratagem slot is called an Operation Modifier. That's That depends on the mission you select. You know how Operation Modifiers work, right, Gus? Uh, if not, I'll have a guide. Let me know and I'll publish a guide video on it. But I'm pretty sure everyone should know how they work. Um, one less stratagem slot is something you choose. Alright, different operations will have different operation modifiers. You should pick your operation modifier based on what you like doing. So for me, if I see minus one stratagem slot, I usually don't pick that operation. 
I'll try and pick a different operation or try and do something else. Or even a different difficulty, because I can do the difficulty 8 or 9 if I want to. I try not to, because it makes it harder to chat and stream, but you can. So, remember that the main thing is always to... Oh, someone's a traitor. Damn. I'm going straight to Pelican 1. Blade, let me know if you need to explode and uh, be reborn here. I think I found the door today. Okay, yeah. Alright. So I'm hiding in between the Pelican wings right now. Cozy little spot. What the? That was weird. Oh yeah, of course, Elazar. But storyline. Now, listen. My storyline is... I'm bringing my elite forces to Tibet so we can crash in glory. Alright? And besides, let's take a look here. Tibet has 32k players. Maya has 85,000. What's the rate on Maya? 1%. How many do you think you can convince from Tibet to go over there? More importantly, we've got Durgan and the Bug Hunters. I think before convincing the people on Tibet, I think y'all need to convince the Bug Hunters to actually help out with the order because y'all got 85,000 and it's like barely making a dent in Maya's forces. Yeah, the screen is blank because the game crashed, dude. I'm starting it up again. The crashes have been pretty frequent, but at least you still get your credit at the end. Yeah, pretty much we won't, Cardigan Rules. So... Please do take a look at the war numbers and realize that uh, we have a lot of players in a lot of locations other than just Tibet, FYI. We have a lot of players in a lot of other locations that should be on Maya right now if you want to succeed. Uh, Dustin, you'll get the credit for the medals eventually. It's not right now. Super. Dog or car person? What? <laughs> well, between a dog and a car, I kind of need my car, so I'm going to have to say I'm a car person. But yes, regarding Operation Modifiers, okay. Ready for another mission, Helldiver? Just so you know, like, just as an example, right? An operation modifier is like this. This one has complex strategy and plotting. This means that if I were to choose this operation, call in time is increased by 50%. If I were to choose this one, stratagem slots reduced by one. Hey, there's Arcane. What up, buddy? So it depends on what, it just depends on which operation you pick, Gus. So if you don't like stratagem slots minus one, then make sure you check the operation modifier and you can adjust it. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. It says Maya equals 15 days. Mine says Maya is 5 days, dude. I don't know. The rate seems to be going up and down like a bit of a roller coaster. Now it's saying 2 days. I keep refreshing and checking. Alright. The enemy is attempting to seize one of our planets. We bite. must join the defense. Uh, for me, it's call in time 50%. Cooldown time 25% and stratagem slots minus one. So I think you just got an unlucky thing. What you can do, Gus, is you can change the difficulty. Like if you're gonna go on hell dives or difficulty eight, okay, so all of these have stratagem slot. All of the nines also have stratagem slot minus one. In which case, if you want to avoid it, then your only option is do some sevens first. So you can try and spam the sevens to avoid it for now. That's the only way you could avoid it otherwise. Again, it's also why I tend not to pick 7s in, uh, sorry, it's why I tend not to pick 8s and 9s unless I have a full squad. Because coordinating without a full team is pretty annoying. But yes. Hi, Arcane. Good to see you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. We have Glade in voice. Now you can, uh, now you can bully him extra. 
sounds good. <coughs> I am fully anticipating another quasar cannon blast to my back. Good. <laughs> Personally, I give you personal permission to abuse Glade. Hey, True Saint made a pretty cool bad for Super Earth Elite. That's nice. Exclusive to my Discord. Love it. <laughs> if we take Tibbet, will that lower the regeneration back to normal? Some say yes, some say no. Honestly, I don't really care. Like I said, I've got my own storyline for this that I'm creating right now. Alright, let's go. Emergency evacuation time. Time to go crash. I don't know, Miklo. We'll have to see. When are we getting the Kisidia cannons? Sorry, the two-man operable tanks? Um, I don't know. Genuinely don't know. And Cardigan rules Queso Cannon. Lol. Hmm. Mm, this one. Here. Yes, I know, Jam. I am aware of this. Yeah, listen, why why don't we have a weapon that fires hot cheese at the enemy, okay? It would be a great weapon. I'd use it. I know you would. Sorry, fam, weather was too cold, I had to close the door. Uh, we don't have enough people, Dustin. Objective critical stratagem available. Go now. And fear the shadow of neither death nor tyranny. For justice is your cause. <clears throat> yep, get that barrel. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna have to go around. Damn it. It's okay. It happens. Let them call. Requesting advanced weaponry. Bags empty. <laughs> Now I gotta say, fam, I'm so lacking in sleep, but I just can't stop warring. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. You know, I used my throat so much that I was coughing as well earlier. I, like, ate half a pack of lozenges and it just barely stopped. So it's all good, I understand. <clears throat> we clear. Wait, did we call down the SSD already? Oh, we did. No. Can I go from here up here? Woof, Spider Man. Alright. Store communications uplink. Done. Big Skull Admiral vibes. Hell yeah. But anyway, like I said, to be honest, right? Um, I had my I have my own plan for a narrative about this. So, those of you who like to follow my storyline or whatever, don't you worry because I've got a plan for all this. Reloading. All right, just look forward to the next video after stream. It's gonna be interesting. Woo! Almost killed myself. I walk in front of your gun barrel. Who is this? The real John Chris, okay. Wow, we got the real John Chris joining us. I don't know who this John Chris is, but he's real. Thank you for all the likes on stream, by the way. I appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. It's important to take breaks if you're a coward. <laughs> breaks. The only break I need is killing terminates. You know, easy mode hell dive for an hour. 
Instead of Joe being the game master, it should have been me. I'm not. I'm not part of Arrowhead. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm doing like a player, like, cause. But like one thing which I really like about this is cause, it's like galactic D and D. You know, it's like a worldwide D and D. That's why I'm having so much fun with it. So I'm having my own storylines and like my own, like we created our own faction called Super Earth Elite. It's just fun. You know, I like I like these kinds of little things that spice up the gameplay, makes life a bit more interesting. Ooh, that's a tank. It is about to spank. Requesting orbital strike. Firing orbital strike. Found something. Calling down objective equipment. Oh, and they call down a player on me. Lovely. But I think Joel's doing a great job as a game master. To be honest, I got no, I got no issues with that. I think he's doing great. Guys, I'm gonna need some reinforcements over here. Please help me. I'm gonna try turning this tank for you. Uh, I am nowhere near the tank. Either way, I think. Uh, tell you what, here's what we're gonna have to do: Glade pull back, uh, make a run for it. Meet up got this artillery. Yeah, yeah. I agree, I agree. Because it's there already anyway, it's kind of blasting us. Wow. I did call him supplies. Oh man. Hey sweet, I get to steal your supplies. Reinforcing! <clears throat> Where's the last emplacement? I don't see it. What? Oh, there it is. I see it. It's clear. When you come down, can one of you melee me? Okay, Arcane's nearest. Over here, help. Wow. Wow. Brother, brother, you aim off, man. Okay, there we go. Lol. <laughs> Cardigan, the fake John Chris stole your burrito. Damn. A wrist deployable sounds wild. Reloading. Okay. Marking location. By the way, in case you guys didn't know, these are the POW camps <laughs> that the automatons have. You can see lots of dead citizens inside them. So yeah, this is why they are. Probably not exactly a peaceful race. You can actually see all the dead civilians inside the POW camps, kept in cages. Not a, not a pretty sight. Dropping a pin, northwest, 300 meters. People dare say that we are the bad guys. You know, these guys are dissidents. I'm throwing, I'm throwing an eagle glade. Be careful, be careful. Ooh! There is a turret that was facing us. Thanks, Wade. Request approved. Reinforcements on the way. Reporting to the front. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'll take out that turret. Yeah, my other problem is that uh, my stuff got dropped near a freaking hole. Sending 
They need to add ground execution animation, lol. We started the Galactic War, right? What? Nah, 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 nah. That is propaganda. Screw that. I'm pretty sure those automatons were annoying. So I say they started the Globe War and uh, Galactic War. And uh, clearly they are, you know, super evil and shit. I mean, just look at what they're doing. It also doesn't matter who started it anyway. What matters is that we gonna finish it. Like the professionals we are. Nope. I can never remember the laser combination. Even after all this time. Ah, uh, heavy automata at our post down. Exactly, track. I like that. All we started was the spread of democracy, like the true warriors we are. Exactly, AJ. How dare they even look at us. It was very rude of him. Who is allowing these lights up? Okay. Jeez Louise. I can't stand how bright they are. They're like flashbang. Reveals your position to the enemies. Makes everything too bright. Patrol Enemy is over control. there. Northeast. Wouldn't surprise me one bit, Cardigan's rule. But, uh, these bats are shysty. They be the sneakiest. Is there supplies anywhere? It's inside the base. I see. I see it. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, I could use one of those as well. Yeah, the other guy called them down. Now, dropping a pin east far. Oh. They all turned to look at me. Well, that was very not nice of me. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Homie literally used the rail cannon. Damn. That's wild. Ah, crap. I see a stratagem jammer. I mean, it's not important, but... We are making good time. Arcane, where are you headed? Extraction? Yes. Okay, you call it in. Yeah, I can back him up. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see whether or not I can make it through. Okay, no, I cannot. Damn. This guy needs super samples. I'm gonna grab him for him, and then I'm gonna run. Cause hell no, I'm not making it over there. Uh, EAB, don't spam trivials. Do easy missions. And if you don't... Easy missions, if you extract, right, give double the amount of XP as trivial missions. Takes a bit longer, but it is better. Now, what you can do, if you want to help out other people as well, is do an easy mission, right? Um, join somebody else's easy mission. Then, finish the primary objective for them and then leave back to your ship. It's faster and you can let the newbie or whoever it is complete it at their own pace. And that way they can farm super credits or whatever else they want and they get their contribution. And you can basically speed along things like that. So I was doing that a couple of times the other day. It worked really well. It's a really good technique. Yeah, and it also helps them. Like I, I, I was just dropping these newbies mechs, letting them try stuff out. You know, I gave them my auto cannon and just helped them f uh, finish the objective at like hyperspeed. Oh, so listen, Strippy, we will we will defeat this order, but we need to be united in order to do so. Like I said, I'm working it into my upcoming storyline. So even my attack on Tibbet right now is all part of the storyline. Because for me, this is a big D&D &D campaign. So uh, in future, I obviously won't have to explain myself anymore once people realize what I'm doing. But there is a whole, like, I guess you could say there's a whole uh, stage here. And I like to have my stage set nicely. Oh my god, that foilage just blocked my auto cannon shot. But yeah, right now I'm commanding all my forces. We, we're gonna attack Tibbet until the end of the stream. Then later, y'all look out for my video. <laughs> it is a hero diver move, man. And not only does it like, it like basically helps newbies get acquainted with the game and some of the cool stuff in the game, you know, making them want to play more. But at the same time, you know, you also get to contribute. Now, you will not personally get any liberation when you do that trick when you leave back the ship. But in general, you'll be able to help more teams doing so. Like I was able to complete most runs in like literally a minute and a half. Then I leave and join the next run, leave and join the next run, leave and join the next run. I was just getting, like, moving people through the runs really fast. I know, right? I hate the bulletproof bushes, Gus. Yeah, Tippet is 100% on a stalemate right now. Like I said, all part of my storyline. But this is my personal, like, fan-made storyline. If you genuinely want to help out, you want to go to Maya, absolutely go ahead. But for tonight, I'm sending my forces to Tibbet. I mean, look, let's be honest, we got four days. Things will be fine. Because right now, they've got 89,000 on Maya and they're making 0.9% per hour. We have a lot of other people and a lot of other planets that are not caring as well, so... Hmm. But then again, I already predicted all that. Which is why, like I said, I'm making my own storyline for this. I know, right? I hate these bulletproof bushes. We gotta go. The noob left. Extraction complete. Pelican one beginning ascent. Unfortunately, John Taro, the Bug Hunter faction are. Look, I don't want to say they like the game on easy mode, but 
having seen what we can do, you know, uh, like me and Arcane and the lads this morning, we kind of just walk through a hell dive on bugs. I don't want to say that they're easy mode gamers. I don't want to say that they're like game journos, but you know, they are easy mode gamers. <laughs> Callie. Listen, it's all creativity, man. That's the human side, all right? Hey, hey, listen, Crow's Flight. We can't make fun of these guys, okay? Some people are just born to be game journalists. You know, some people are just born to, you know, write articles on IGN. You know, it can't be helped, man. It can't be <laughs> helped. You know, some people just... It's like that, bro. It's like that. You know? How do I show you my career stats? I don't know. You know, some some people, when they load up Cuphead, they get confused in the tutorial. Some people are like that. What are career stats in the first place? I don't even know. Oh, I know what that is. Nice job oh, down there. it's Hopefully. it's in your um, armory thing. It's the last tab. Oh. Enemy kills, 119,000. Yeah, there's my career stats. There's the Darth Vader super bong rip. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'll never it's not... not even a bong. I know, but I'll never not make fun of you for that. I know. I always think I'm, like, far enough away from the mic, and then I look, I look over, and I'm like, shit, I just picked it up. Yep, 110%. Nothing new in the store. No, 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 no. Hmm. Strange. I feel a shift in the fields of war. We just got three squad impact and it didn't move. That was sus. Hmm. Something's going on here. 37,000 upon Astanu. And they're failing. Hmm. Fori Prime will soon exult is being in the walked back. Crimsica is being walked back. Well, never mind. The, the game journalists are not our problem. The game journalists only have about... 60,000 on their side. Let's not worry about them. Reminder, all personnel must submit weekly urine sample by 0400. Oh yeah, this was this was in my announcement. Don't forget to submit your urine sample by 0400. Uh we we're doing the drug testing. Make sure you guys aren't sipping too many illegal stims. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you don't you don't want to end up like the bug hunters, do you? All the way on the other side, sipping their little illegal moonshine that they made out of the bug corpses. I'm pretty sure that's half the reason they don't want to leave. <laughs> you know, they're just grinding down those bug corpses into E710 and just making moonshine in their bathtubs. <laughs> anyway. You're not fighting the bots sober? Listen, listen. Bots are easy. What do you mean you're not fighting the bots sober? What's what's easier than a bot? Just they're they just there. They just exist. They breathe. And then they die. The drug test is to ensure you have the right amount of drugs. I agree with that, you know? I think I think they just <laughs> want to make sure that all of us on the bot side, they, they call it a drug test, but really they're just testing. Are you a game journalist? Are you an IGN journalist? Do you need to enable easy mode? <laughs> Excuse you for enjoying your work. Listen, all right? I'm the kind of commander that raw dogs reality, okay? I wake up in the morning, I don't even need coffee, all right? I wake up and I say, today I'm going to raw dog reality. Hey, Nisk, what's up? You're on that World War II super soldier trip? <laughs> Definitely not low. Just go stealth, you'll see the bots are stupid, blind, and deaf. Nah, nah, stealth? Stealth? Nah. What do you mean, stealth? We go loud on every operation. Listen, John Tower, we fight bugs on nine and, and we and we just kind of walk through the missions. All we have to do is throw napalm on the bug breach, throw incendiary grenade, kill streak 70, walk out of the planet. 
Imagine having a whole squad that's blaze. Listen, I'm okay. I'm a super Buddhist. All right. That's the that's one of the state mandated religions on Super Earth. I'm a super Buddhist. No drugs allowed, except stims. <laughs> all right, all right, fam. Listen. Later, I'll make a separate announcement to all my elite forces on Tibet. I know. You guys are amazing. You guys are the best of the best of the best. But, I think, I think, my dear friends, that we, I think we will need to join the defense on Maya. As much as I would hate to leave nothing more than a garrison on Tibet, we aren't able to make a dent on their stronghold. Now, I've had my disagreements with the other commanders of the Super Earth Elite Forces, um, I don't want to say that they're, you know, uncool, that they're balding, don't have nice heads of hair like me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But, you know, I gotta say that, uh, all things considered, I think it'll be important for us to shift over to a different side. We might need to actually help our balding commanders of the Super Earth Elite on Maya. Because, you know, apparently they're a little too scared to assault a stronghold. They're a little too scared to fight enemies hidden away in metal boxes. But that's okay. That's okay. Either way, we're not making a dent on Tibet. And there is no point in wasting ammo against an iron wall, is there? So, those of you that are following me, let's move over. I'll have a video announcement later with more filtered speech. I mean, we don't want to offend these, uh, you know more sensitive individuals who believe that we can cut off the bots um, remember uh, if you guys actually went through officer school the bots kind of came from outside of the galaxy like this I'm pretty sure they can literally just you know come on this side if they wanted to I don't even think they need to obey the same supply lines we do because they've got different kinds of fabricators Oh, excuse me. Heck, they could be sneaking a force on Vindematrix Prime going straight for Cyberstan. So, quite frankly, uh, quite frankly, I think we need to help out. But anyway, the mistaken beliefs of other officers are not our problem. We're not here to educate them. Our job is just to kill where it is most efficient. So, fine. I'll bite the bait. I'll bite the bait. Let's head on over to Maya and see what it's like. What's the planet air effects? Reduces rate of fire, delay, heat, buildup, and weapons, meteor storms cause massive damage. Ooh, sounds like fun. Well, no time like the present. Let's go obliterate ourselves with glory. Well done, Helldiver. This operation will... First things first, eradication the mission. The Maya system. <laughs> Organic stims, lol. All right, family. I brought my elite forces. I want the rest of your elite forces to move over. Everybody else, let's head over to my system and uh, we'll start helping out these nerds. All right. Oh wait, sorry. This is a uh, defense mission, isn't it? Eradicate. I mean, my apologies. Hey, RPGHS. Mm. All right, fam. You've heard it from me. They're literally only making progress at one percent per hour. By the time this major order is over. They'll finally have liberated just Maya alone, so, uh, let's go help him out. Ain't no time for sitting around. Where the fourth slot at? I don't know. Why aren't you here, Benna? Huh? Benna? Help or niece, whichever one. I don't, I don't really mind. Either one of you are welcome. Somebody's ship just got exploded from orbit. Damn.
<laughs> Melee attacks to fend off enemies. Remember, death is better than cowardice. All right, family. You know the drill. You are the best of the best. Live up to your name. Every time you Live are about to quit, oil. just remember, ask yourself area. one question, soldiers. Are you one of those game journalists? Are you a bug hunter? If you're not either one of these, then you belong on the front lines. All right, come on. It's the last phase of the bot war. We can win. All we need to do is kill. Do I have a Discord group? Of course I do, Demon Hunter. Members only, buddy. It's made up of the people that uh, support this channel monetarily, so I only allow channel members inside. Why do we do that? Number one, keeps us safe, keeps my community tight, and it's basically made up of all the people that really, really want to be in there. You know, they keep this channel running. They've been helping me run the stream way before I got to Helldivers. They've been keeping me alive for two years. Most of the people that I game with right now, in fact, are from other games. Like Arcane, he first found me on, uh, he first found me on Dark Tide, and he's been here ever since, existing in my presence and basking in my Ooh, great tank coming towards us. What? Tank over here. Oh, okay. Sorry, you, you, you were muffled again, so I was like, damn, what's this man saying? He delayed in his the weird mic. But it's okay. I got you. What I heard, you guys will handle a tank, and I will sit here and relax. Which is the way it should be. Oh, Arcane's dead. Why don't you say something, huh? Freaking, freaking, always taking a bong rip, man. Jesus. Jesus. You could have said something, huh? Listen, we are going to wipe them out during this major order, alright? Once people get their shit together and actually understand the fact that we have to work together for this ammo, we'll get it done. But I'm going to need your help, ladies and gents. We need to convince the bug hunters, we need to convince the diggers of Durgan, alright? We're going to need to convince everybody and their grandmother to get onto Maya right now, alright? I've already made the sacrifice. I've already made the compromise. I brought my elite forces in. Everybody else needs to freaking do their Damn it! Everybody else needs to do their part, all right? I brought in the elites. They gotta bring in the rest. Oh my god, Arcane's nickname is now Bong Vader. Yes, yes, this is the way. Did you die again? I'm not gonna talk about it. <clears throat> okay. All right, eradication mission completed. All right, I'm heading to extraction. Smell you later. Later, haters. Now listen, listen, I know the bug hunters are used to easier missions, but hey, if we could get them to at least do difficulty 4 and 5 missions, they might make themselves useful, you know? Pelican 1, preparing to depart. Shuttle launch in 20 seconds. I saw it, peanut butter. I'll have a video out about it another day. Uh-oh. Is he going oh, Pitway. Absolutely, that sounds like a great idea. I'm coming! You gonna make it? <clears throat> no. I don't think you're gonna make it. Bye! Later, hater! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I told I you we was going. Closer. Another victory for the right side of history. It's all good. It's all good. All part of uh, bullying poor Gallade. Thoughts on the laser cannon? Yeah, you think I... it's underrated? Um, me, personally, I think it's okay. Not great, not bad. Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I crashed. We all crashed. Yeah. Like glorious warriors should. 
We are glorious warriors of crashes. Super Earth. Oh. Super Duper Earth, our home. Okay. Allied destroyer has joined Let's squadron. resume the mission. Engaging orbital thrusters. The bridge is yours, Helldiver. Take us to the fight. Orbit synchronized. Browse your fire sir. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. You like this new crash simulator game? Good. The Illuminator is going to make the bots look easy. At least that's what I've heard as well. So, I kind of expect it. All right, let's go. I bet you, I bet you that guy was wearing the uh, new cape. Must be what's causing the crashes. I believe. I believe. I'm gonna turn my V-Sync back on, just give me a second. Okay, let's see. Up here? Let's go hot drop. But yeah, now Crash Simulator, great game. It's uh, doing really well for me right now. <laughs> hey, listen, Mr. Thug McNugget, bots or cakes? Sounds good. You know, keep contributing those uh, hell dive points. Just make sure that you're finishing them faster than uh, 24 minutes. Yeah, go bank those points, buddy. I don't know what's causing it yet, Pitway, but it seems to be doing. It seems to be something to do with extraction. Do I have all the achievements? Nah, I'm not an achievement hunter. Even in other games that I play, I've only seen them on eight and nine, John Taro. Haven't run into them again on seven. Ever. But the only reason I'm avoiding the 8 and 9 is because minus one stratagem slot. Oh, excuse me. If it was something else, I wouldn't mind. But minus one stratagem slot is so annoying to do. Yes. Yes, Outstanding, Thug McNugget. Being in range of enemy artillery, by the way. Damn, what happened there? Infinitely stun locked. I couldn't get up or nothing. I see. Well, ain't that beautiful? Okay, grabbing my auto cannon. Oh, I see the mortars. Yep, they're right there. I literally tagged them. So yeah. Yeah, sure. You can send me, you can send me an email with your settings. I don't mind trying them out. My email is realasianrobot at gmail.com. That is my business email. Feel free. Yeah, 
There we are. Clean and clear. There you are, Glade. You can stop the screaming now, you're okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Thanks, man. Could not understand a word of that, but I assume you're screaming your gratitude. Aw, oh, man. And there's a tank. Do not go there. Damn, that foil. Got it. Nice job. You will never and that turret's looking at me. Damn. Good luck. Oh, come on. Yeah, finally. I think it's looking over at you, so. I mean. No, it's on me. Well, it makes it feel better. I think we got it. Mostly. And now we got another turret looking at us. Lovely. Good shots. Uh oh. Hell divers, never die. Uh, turret down. Hello, robot. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. That better be super credits. Oh, yeah. Eh, it's just another ice planet. To me, it looks the same. But then again, I don't care what the planet looks like. I came to, I came to lead. Not to read. Oh man, that bot ran into his own mind. Well, it's yeah, you move up on that fabricator. Okay. Ooh. I see it, I see it, I see it. Uh, I am out of stims. I can't get to need you on the drone fabricator. Because it's right next to extraction. Of course, we can't ignore it. Yeah. As soon as I get my resupply, I'm going in. I know, right? <laughs> Gotta love it, Jimmy. All right, moving in. Oh, damn. Over back.
Good work. Help on board. Clear the area. Well, I'm I'm okay with the biomes repeating. For me, that's not a big concern. But what is a big concern is uh, the conditions. I want the operation conditions to be a bit more varied. Because, yeah, right now we've only got a very small pool of them. And that's kind of what makes the whole oh, damn. They are, they are ranging from like all the way over there, so. Glade, toss me by, please. I'm gonna use this stratagem. Calling in reinforcements. Because all three of you are dead, so. And I got no stims left. Oh, come on. Phew! Ooh, finally died. At least now I can have some stims back. You got an AMD 7000? That's a different graphics card than what I have, buddy. So, that might not be helpful to me. But thank you for the offer anyway. Request approved. Deploying reinforcements. I'm gonna NVIDIA RTX 3080. Join the friend. Speaking of which, it did the driver did update today. I should actually download that. Oh, come on. Well, I lasered myself. You have two graphics cards in there? Oh, that's a CPU. Alright. Well, in that case, fine. If you're also on an RTX 3080, I'd be grateful. I'm not very good with tech stuff. I try different things to see if they work, but... Most of my actual hardware, I just get what people tell me to get. What my friends tell me to get. So I shall be grateful. Ragdoll. Jar 5 Dominator is currently one of the best after the recent buff. Very good. I enjoy it a lot. Countdown initiated. Stand by for takeoff. Extraction complete. Pelican 1 begins. Yeah, I'd rather to resolve a lot of other issues pitway for sure. Yeah, they're both good and it depends on preference. The Scorcher is better against Scout Striders, worse against other stuff. The Dominator dominates everything else, but sucks against Scout Striders, so you have to make a choice. One second. I'm just going to quickly address an email. Did they nerf the Super Credit Farm? They shouldn't have.
somebody offered to edit videos for my channels, but um, I can't afford it right run. now, so. Or, you know, whatever they do. I decided to reply to his email and said, you know, thanks for showing, but I can't afford that. Welcome aboard. Because, like, right now, I kind of make ends meet barely, thanks to Helldivers, but, yeah, don't think I can do that. You said you need it. What do you need, Nisk? Your fellow Helldivers rage against the enemy's tyranny. Do it now. What, what do you need? You're gonna have to make it a bit clearer. This Draco undefeated. And Prem Sardine, I've heard about the comms link, but if you don't mind, we're here on Helldivers. Mission coordinates locked. Okay, I got no idea what you're saying, Nice, but you know, I'll just nod my head. Engaging orbital thrusters. The tree design. What's the Orbit issue with the tree design? I'm actually not sure on that. But then again, like, to be honest, I really don't look at many planets. Like, all the ice planets look the same to me. Just, uh, Hellmire is the most, the one that's most, like, most different. How's Maya coming along? Oh, yes, we did attack Tibbet. But, like I said, it's all gonna be part of the storyline, so for those that are just coming in, updated storyline, we banged our head against the wall on Tibbet for quite a while, but we're seeing absolutely no progress, and... The folks on Maya are, are so bogged down that they're not seeing any progress. They've got 96,000 attack in the planet. We're only making 1.1% per hour. Something weird's going on here. So due to the strong presence of the automatons, of course, a video will come out later covering my decision. We've gone to Maya to help out. See if we can uh, get some stuff done. So that's where we're at. Well, Lee, I think it's not the 50k on Durgan and Tibbet you gotta worry about. It's all the other people on the bug planets. So, I would suggest either kidnapping people, like Pitway is gonna do, or get some bug hunters over. Because I don't know what they're doing, but things aren't going well at all. Especially, I see a lot of people talking about the Tibbet, but ain't nobody talking about Durgan. Like freaking ow, man! Look at this guy. Get pistol whipped in the face. Now where's that damn launch code? I already got it. Oh, okay. And in that case, I'ma just get my auto cannon, and I think I'm gonna skedaddle. Oh, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah, I'm grabbing my auto cannon and. Uh, Somebody stunned that hulk for me. Never mind. What the myself, actually. hell? Reloading. Nice job on the tech tower. I'll go grab the pod. Actually, yeah, I'll just grab the pod along the way. Yeah, I'll look forward to the war bond trailer. I'll probably cover it tomorrow. Well, no, 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 we didn't tactically retreat, actually, Pitway. I left a garrison there, but uh, the vast majority of my elite forces have moved over to Maya. Uh, pretty much all the randoms that I get are pretty good, but then again, I usually have at least one buddy with me, so... Uh, pretty okay. Most, most of the randoms are decent. Like, they're not horrible. Is this guy trying to guard me? Mr. SG Quantum. Thy presence is not required. Dropping a pin. Northeast, far. Sending in an eagle. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, listen, EAB. There is no, uh, there are no horror stories. The horror stories are all lies made up by nerds on Reddit for the upvotes. I'm pretty sure 95% of them are all not truthful at all. But then again, that's about what I expect for people that are craving attention, you know? They're not trained elites like us. We got no time for that kind of bullshit. 
I know, right? 76,000 bug hunters currently in the game. I say we go over there and uh, razz them a little bit, you know? Remind them that playing level 9 Helldive uh, is game journalist difficulty. I mean, if they want to, you know, if their goal is to work for IGN or a company like that, you know, far be it for me to stop them from their on-the-job training. But, um, you know, maybe they could actually make themselves useful on Maya, but hey, you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, most of the players, in fact, most of the players on Helldive on bots really know what they're doing because they've, they've already experienced, like, a lot of the game. So, usually they're pretty darn good, and I don't and I don't have to ever worry about them. The only reason I usually don't is because I prefer to avoid certain modifiers. They just slow down my runs. So, the effective difference between 7 and 8 is not a lot. The most difference would be, to, would be between 7 and 9, but 9 can get a bit annoying with the bots because you need to be damn near perfect with some uh, some stuff, otherwise you can get into a pretty bad death loop. Since, like, your primary weapon doesn't have as many options, unlike the bugs, where your primary weapon can actually do some shit. So, yeah. Hey, what's up, Glade? I see you shooting. Yeah, not hitting anything, though. That's okay. Nobody's born to hit stuff, except me. And also, nobody's born to completely mess up their, uh... How'd you like to taste the freedom? Mess up their reloads, except me. some supplies in here, out of stem. Sounds good. Go right ahead. I'm sure we'll get him eventually. Attachments. Yeah, I'm gonna go pick cool. up that end here. Roger. Actually, I see it from here. Can we just snipe it? One's down. Two down. Okay, clear. Ah, of course. Requesting orbital strike. Orbital strike hey. incoming. Wait, what? An eagle. The orbital strike targeted dropship. Oh lord. You just got yourself a super chat. Ah, oh, thank you, Dave. Appreciate the super chat, man. Here's a salute from the Super Earth Elite to you. Thank you so much. Hey, you never know. Maybe in future they'll make planets have reduced gravity. That would be pretty cool. But if you don't mind me asking, why do you think it should have reduced gravity? I'm kind of curious now. New bag. Ah, meteor shower. Radar station and beat base. Heavy armor? I don't use heavy armor, buddy. Light armor only. Sorry, uh, medium armor only for bots. Light armor for bugs. Remember, you don't need to defend yourself if you're never in danger in the first place. But all jokes aside, it can be pretty rough to run uh, heavy armor. I cannot give up the speed, I'm just not good with that. Okay, going to radar station. Just for the sake of capturing it. It's high noon. Uh, that's a walker. Oh, lovely. Damn it, right when I'm at the station. Where's the walker? Oh, it's not attacking us yet. Okay, then I'll do the station first. Yeah, I'm gonna go put a nuke on him. You nerd. You nerd, how dare you! Okay, fine. Fine. There's something here. You better not kill before I get there, damn. North. 
Oh, fair enough, Dr. Mantis. I mean, that does make sense from science, you know, science point of view. Yeah, I just use medium armor. Works good. I don't even use explosive resist. I'm in trouble. I should not have come over here. Told you. Why did you do that? Thank you, we're a hero. Well, now it's got its sights on us. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We gotta kill that thing no matter what. So... I'm bringing a laser. Ah, it's dead. Ha! Laser worked. Oh lord. The mag was empty. We took out the Strider somehow. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, listen. You ever accuse me of treason again, you're gonna get this hand, alright? We're synthetics. Read the freaking description, alright? We hate automatons, but you got nothing to do with them. Synthetics are different. Automatons are heretics. See, automatons, they believe in being cyborgs. Human married with the machine. Alright, we ain't like that. We're different. Synthetics believe in the human soul absolutely ruling the machine. Alright, there's no such thing as we play kumbaya with technology. No. The human mind must manage and rule the machine. However, the mechanical form is precise, logical, well managed. That's why we worship it. That's why we're called synthetics. You got that? Good. Ah, uh, yeah, that feeling is very common. Yeah, we're coming. <laughs> Topography will save you on nine. Yeah, probably. All things considered. I just really like seven because it's easy for me to excuse me, chill out and uh, still talk to my chat. If I do nines, it gets very sweaty. Except for bugs, of course. Bugs, I can just chat to you guys all day on a nine. Wouldn't even matter. In fact, I don't even think there are enemies on 9, just, uh, it's just a straight up turkey shoot. I got the terminal! South, 200 meters. Ah, 
sniped. Patrol over there. Enemy patrol. East. I think they're coming our way, bud. Wax Alright. Blast off. Democracy has been well delivered. Ow. May your extraction be swift. Tagging mound. Southeast. Alright. Let's move, Mr. Arcane Tower Boy. Yep. Extraction is available. Up, oh, I just got that lag spike. I think we're going to crash. Uh, at the end, I mean. Not right now, but... Probably. It happens. Large base isn't taken out yet, right? Okay. I'm just gonna quickly laser it. That should settle things. Now hit to where Arcane is. Go, go, go! You've been doing your part in a few hours? Good, Cheesecake Man! Just remember that we've shifted our assault to Maya instead. And don't worry, there'll be a briefing video after the stream explaining exactly why. Alright. Your glorious sexy commander here over here wanted to take Tibbet, but unfortunately, my elite forces alone were not enough. The automaton resistance was fiercer than anticipated. Uh, Cowboy Champaloo, yes, that is the case, but I also do not recommend that. My honest answer is that uh, I don't really recommend farming metals, and I'll tell you why. It's because you'll actually get more by just completing an entire operation. So my advice is just join speedrunners. And watch, and when you complete high level operations, you just get tons of medals. Because we also loot along the way. So if you really want medals, don't farm them by like going onto like low level missions and doing that. While Eradicate Missions technically is the fastest farm, um, you're gonna get bored of the game real quickly. And there's no point in unlocking stuff if you're gonna just be sick of the game. So, in my professional opi uh, opinion, right, the way we did medals. We didn't worry about unlocking stuff. Just play the difficulty like, it's okay to play lower difficulty stuff, just have fun. The most important thing is have fun with the game, enjoy it, and get your medals along the way. Complete your operations, start leading teams, and you'll feel the difference. If you do metal farming early, you'll end up like a lot of players, and I know about close to 20,000 players at least, definitely burned out just by metal farming. Then by the time you get what you want, you're so sick of the game, you don't even want to use it or play it. So, I really, really don't recommend it at all. It's way better to just play the game, enjoy the game, and get your unlocks along the way. Most of the divers that do that are way happier and still playing today. You know, they finally get everything and they... I, like, at first you can feel impatient and I understand the feeling, but that feeling will go away real quick. And you'll just start to really enjoy the game. Which has been really fun. So, at first I too wanted to metal farm, but I realized there's no point. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Ooh, new subscriber. Nice. Burning. Survived. Alright, everybody in the ship. 
go, go, go. Now, farming super credits is a different matter. That one, I say it's fair enough, but you only need to get a thousand and leave, so it's okay. Um, getting medals by extracting immediately is actually best Cowboy Champaloo. Because if you complete the operation faster, you get more medals. You should, and most teams will loot along the way. So, like, look at us and what we're doing, right? We're actually speed running mm. right now. So, and, well, we're speed crashing too. But. It's so annoying. It's okay. Listen, we're just learning how to speed run crashes, okay? This is Crash Simulator. I'm still waiting for Cardigan's email to tell me what settings I need. Or, you know what? I think it's time to just play on ultra settings. This. Since we're gonna crash anyway. Mm, my crashes. Your crashes should not reset your uh, things. You take your ass to a freedom camp, lol. Do we get reward points for the last? You mean medals? Reward points? What is this? This ain't this ain't Walmart. <laughs> nah, we haven't gotten the medals yet. They're 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 going out slowly. Um, apparently there's some issues, but that's just how it is. Okay, time to play on ultra. Ultra textures. Oh yeah. Async compute. Oh yeah. And then display. Uh, frame rate limit on vsync off oh yeah oh yeah my game looks so clear everything looks so beautiful I think I might cry Liberty's oh, yeah. enemies march ever Allied closer has joined squadron okay let's try it this way mmm look at all this high definition Seven is good. Yep. I haven't seen the trailer for the new Warbond yet. I'm probably gonna do a video about it tomorrow so I can uh, enjoy Allied it. Destroyer has joined squadron. But, uh, but like, I'll do a proper video reviewing it, you know, seeing what's in it. You know, get some hype going. Um, that being said, seven is... Seven is great. More players actually want to work together. Yeah. Um, I think that for most... For the most part, once you're experienced, 7, 8, and 9 is the best place for randoms. Because those guys usually know what they're doing. Requisition slips are for buying stratagems. Uh, did you see my video on how to unlock weapons and stuff? Because if you didn't, you probably should check out that video. It explains pretty much everything. But ship management stratagems. You need requisition to buy up all these. Maybe obtaining medals is causing the game to crash. If it is, you know, the whole game going to get this hand. Okay. Oh, we finished our operation fully. Good job, everybody. All right. Uh, next mission is this. Mission coordinates locked. Time to go slap some command five. markers. Actually, wait. You know what? Let me try something. Three of us, right? I'm going to swap to friends only mode. Orbit synchronized. Maybe it's the randoms that cause us to crash. Maybe they're just not, you know, f cool enough, friendly enough. I mean, requisition slips are a vital currency, so... No, I think what we should they should do is they should make it so that there's, like, um, temporary buffs that we could buy for an operation that would cost requisition credits. Therefore, there's a reason to keep getting them. You know, I, I think something like that would work a lot better than the system that we have now. That's my thought, anyway. Yeah, absolutely, Jackor. You know, people are all enduring this crash just so we can get the freaking war done. But yeah, I genuinely wish that I could also, uh... You know, do something about this. Oh well. Yeah, no, it's not my idea, actually, Lee. There's so somebody else mentioned it in chat the other day. 
I, and I agree with them. I, I think that, you know, we should have a way of spending the freaking uh, requisition slips. Launch initiated. Yeah, exactly. We could, we should have temporary mission and operation buffs. It makes sense. Oh, 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 ah, ah, ah! Hell yeah! Oh damn! Survive. Yep. Good job. Good luck, y'all. Bye. Look at Arcane ditching us instantly. It wouldn't nerd. Good luck. <laughs> this man from the arcane tower, instant ditcher. Yes. Oh my God! Did you really? <laughs> Lol. You <laughs> really? That better have been an accident, bro. <laughs> Sir. Sir, how could you? You were getting the plasma. How could you? How could you land on arcane, buddy? You were getting the plasma. Yeah. Hey, here's here's your chance. You better beg for some forgiveness, bud. I'm about to kill you. All right, you are forgiven. Temporarily. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I'm great. I'm glad you forgave him and everything, but I'm dying. Moving, I'm like, yeah, let's check this one out. I heard you got a new subscriber tonight. Ah, uh, new subscribers, welcome. How'd you like to taste of freedom? Ribot, you're in the way. No, I'm okay. I got my student grenades for a reason. Oh my god, this is trash. Okay. Heading north. I think we have to get around the mountain. Damn it. I'll call the supply first. Sending in an eagle. Sending in a beagle. Supplies here. I know y'all will need it. Alright, I think we've done good enough. Maybe Arcane looked like a bug. Lamal. Nah, nah, it was secret revenge for ditching. Lol, I don't think we'd ever, uh,. We'd ever uh, pay the bots to fight for us, even for one mission that's repugnant and heresy. Listen, a single moment of heresy, a single moment of laxity, leads to a lifetime of heresy. And, and y'all, y'all aren't heretics, are you? Uh, don't go in there. Yeah, no. How dare you? I was already in there. Glade, the team killer. Mm mm mm. You better throw me directly in that base so I can get my shit back. <laughs> Might just have to give Arcane permission to kill you after that one. Join the fray. Okay, I'm going for this base that's up ahead. Okay. Leave me alone and do not kill me with your bombs. I'm not gonna kill him, but. Requesting orbital. Reloading. Yeah. Yeah, where was I? Oh, yeah.
Alright, job. See you guys the next. I think that laser of yours is doing a little extra. Come on. There we are. Okay, off we go. That's a bomb I almost stepped on. That's a what you stepped on? I almost stepped on a mine. Ah. My enemy is the hole. Your enemy is the mine. No freaking way. Did it get you? Uh, Glade, throw me that way. Well, you're going oh, that way. Thank you. Oh, for real? I thought I had a moment to do heavy devastator just beams me here. Alright, just throw me wherever you guys are. I'll call in a new autocannon. Calling in reinforcements. Well, that was oh, dumb. I'm putting you on your body. Oh, you on my body? Great. Request approved. Have I done a hell dive solo? No. I refuse to play solo. I just don't see the value in it. Like, I find it so boring to uh, do the objectives by yourself and stuff like that. So, I know there's a lot of people that consider, oh, solo hell dive, great achievement. I think they're just morons, in my opinion. Of course, it's just my opinion, but I just hate playing games that way. It happened a lot in this previous game that we played, like Dark Tide. Everybody was all like, oh, true solo clear. I'm like, yeah, it's literally a co op game, man. What's the point of you playing a co op game without people? It's like, why, you know? But I teach their own, I guess. Okay, okay, let me just murderize that guy. The only time I go solo is like in my teaching vids, and even then I find it super boring. It's only like 6 and uh, six and 5. Though I can see that from maybe a challenge point of view, I guess that could be it. Like, you know, I've done something really good, but I just can't stand it, man. Stratagems that could be coordinated for bonus damage. Yeah, like gas and fire, dude. I really would like to see a gas and fire coordination. Verify files if you crash at the end of the mission. Eh, I can try after this. I mean, like, after all of this, but no. I'm just not a fan. But anyway, yeah, coming back to that point, just not a fan of that. I think the people who want to do it, cool. But me, never. I'll never be one of those solo hell dive people. I'd rather play with randoms, you know? And sort of and sort of like try to work with them than to play solo because I think that'll be really cool yes um, how did that miss no clue right. buddy but yeah for when the host crashes everybody crashes this is true unfortunately there's no way to mitigate that super annoying Well, I'm trying to like uh, reduce my crashes so that like if I can find a way to reduce my crashes then maybe other people won't crash see that's kind of thing Lee I'm telling you something sus is going on I told you every L diver should have been on Tibet y'all ignored it and everybody says Maya Maya okay fine take Tibet first that's what I said. Requesting air support. Requesting orbital. Firing orbital laser. Oh, come on, that's a call. There we are. Clear. Let's get out of here. Uh, I don't think it's bugged. It's just that it's got very strong defenses. We're going to need everybody focused up, you know? No, no, no. We will be able to, Dr. Mantis, but we got to get everybody to work together. What I need from you guys right now, go... 
For a second, I thought you fell in the hole, then I just realized it's a crater. Lol, arcane. Anyway, <laughs> what do you need? To, what do you guys need to do? I need you guys to go over to the bug side, kidnap players, and bring them out to our side of the galaxy. Then, we need to convince all the people on Durgan doing whatever the hell they're doing in Dogledor. Get them over to Maya right now. And all the people left on Tibet, you know, I've already told my honor guard to move, but yeah, we'll see what comes of it. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you right now, I think Tibet should have been first. But everybody said Maya, so rather than splitting our forces, I'm trying to be a good commander by compromising, you know? But as soon as we fail this major order, I'm going to tell them all, guess what? I was right. I was right. We should have killed Tibet first, but no, 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 no. You guys, you guys, and your sheeps of Egyptian cotton. No, no, no. You guys all just wanted to stay there. Killing, killing things. You said that you were right. We're going to seal them in this sector. What you sealing? Yep, that would be about right. We do need everybody on one planet. Right now, a lot of people are half-assing things. We need everybody to whole ass one thing. Well, I don't know about that, but whatever the case is, I still think Tibbet should have been first. I'm telling you, when it comes to games like this, especially when there's strategy involved, I'm never wrong. But, since the non-believers have decided their path, fine. I'll compromise, I'll be a good commander and assist them. And when they failed, I'll make sure I tell them I told them so. Y'all just remember my words. Anyway, we do still stand a chance of succeeding, but we're, like I said, we're going to literally have to whole ass one thing. So if you see people anywhere other than Maya, just kidnap them, bring them over here, threaten them, uh, do whatever it takes. Get them on this frontier, get them fighting. If you need to give them some attitude adjustments, okay, I, ooh, damn. That is a home cruiser. Get in the ship. Fuck. Gallade! Oh, hey, we'll land in the ship. Let's go. All right. That is actually impressive. I can't believe you actually landed inside the ship. That's swanky. Sorry, what, Arcane? That's so good to know that works. I know, right? Shit's wild, buddy. Whatever the announcement is, we got too many people spread out. That's the issue. You got the bots on the run. But either way, Rebo Zone, I don't know how it's gonna work. But what I'm gonna tell you right now is that if we look at Helldivers.io, all right, let's take a look. How many players do we have on Maya? Even after bringing my elite forces there, we have 106k, right? Earlier, when we were bumming on Tibet, and it was a stalemate. The progress was still 1.1% per hour. So either this whole thing is storyline or or you know people need to buckle up because the 50 sorry we currently have 58,000 still on Tibet and Durgan. So why are those people still there? Pick a planet and everyone goes is a lot harder than you might think because right now we still also have about 70,000 fighting on the bug frontier with 40,000 on Astanu, 
failing the defense with no hope of succeeding. So, what everybody needs to do is go onto these planets, give them all a little ch -ch -ch, a little slap slap, tell them, hey, listen, all right? And I myself, I'll do my part. I'll, I have a video coming up later with storyline, of course, fan storyline, uh, about why we switched to Maya, but um, basically, I'm telling you, we should have hammered Timid first. It was something that everybody wanted. Then everybody decided to change direction to Maya, and now the whole player base is split. If everybody had just, like, said, okay, you know what, let's just go to Tibet anyway, this would have been over. Stupid. I, like, I tried to do my part. I tried to tell everybody, conquer Tibet first. And everybody's like, no, no, whole Discord says Maya, Maya, we gotta go there. Okay, sure, let's go. I think everyone's just sick of maybe the jungle plan of Tibet, whatever. But whatever the reason is, I think it's dumb. Mission coordinates locked. Hellpods primed. No, Cletus. Engaging no, I don't know where you got that information. I told everybody, in my video, you must finish a full operation to get liberation. Completing one mission or two missions does not help at all. You must finish the full operation. If, if there's anyone that believes that completing one or two missions helps, slap that motherfucker. Alright? You gotta complete every single mission in an operation set. You only get liberation when you complete a full operation. If anyone doesn't know this by now, slap them. Give them a re-education because I don't know what they've been learning. Because they ain't been learning from my streams, that's for sure. Now, trivial missions and easy missions are different. Those two are an operation by themselves. Okay, just like how on difficulty 3 and 4 there's only two missions, those two missions form an operation. So make sure you finish the full operation, whatever you do. No, 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 no. When, it's, when I say ignore evac civilians mission, I'm talking about the defenses. There are operations without them on 7, 8, and 9. We just pick the full operation that doesn't have those. You do realize that there are always three operations available to you if you want to host, right? And from those three operations, you can pick one that doesn't have the evacuate civilians mission. Like, I just kept picking operations on defense plans that don't have those, and that's how everyone was making progress. Because, literally, like, there was no need to pick them. You could just ignore them. I recommend doing easy missions. Don't do trivial. Easy missions extract or guide guide newbies on easy missions. That's what a lot of people have been doing instead. They basically go into an easy mission, they clear it, and then they let whoever's on the mission, like the original host, uh, finish it. That's literally what several people have done, and I really like that system. It's what I've been doing myself. I will go in, I'll drop a newbie a mech, I'll give him my equipment, and I'll say, here, I'm going to clear the mission for you. You finish it at your own pace. Then he goes. Isn't evacuate best for samples? Yes, but most of us who are super pro, we don't need samples. Oh, you do quick play. That's why, Cletus. I don't do quick play. I host my own missions. Even if you're solo, you can host your own missions. And then you let your mission lobby fill up. It, it doesn't take long. Most of the time, it only takes me like uh, a couple of minutes. And, and randoms will come in and queue for your mission. So, I, I don't usually quick play. Because that way, you are guaranteed success. And you don't have to deal with the terrible mission. Yeah, Super Earth Elite already got all the samples, so we don't need to evacuate. We don't need to do shit. We can just win. Shred a tank. There we are. 
Goodbye, Shredder Tank. I hardly knew you. Dum 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 dum. That shredder tank just shot me to a rock. That's legendary. Y'all saw that. I don't know how. Hmm. That that guy got some kind of magic bite shit going on. Gonna send in new mortar. Miss mortar. Let's step forward some. Sorry, what? Oh, I was trying to uh, speak late to step forward some. Okay. I'm gonna run away. Actually, you know what? This is the best methodology. I'm just gonna murder myself and uh, you guys can throw me in there. Lazy way. I'm still alive? Damn. Lazy way. I'm dead. <laughs> yep. Now Glade just needs to die, and uh, oh, there he goes. Okay, quickly, we drop onto the pelican and we get out of here. Oh, hello, tank. Yeah, I ain't fighting that shit. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs> yeah. Zero medals. You've been robbed. Any difficulty can help. Yep. You can do any difficulty, and any difficulty will contribute to the orders, eh? And also, Ten Dust, uh, I appreciate your offer to help him, but please do not do any recruitment or stuff on my channel. The only reason we have to enforce that rule is because otherwise, some people will just use a channel solely for like networking and shit, and that's not really where we want to be at. So, yeah, just uh, please take note that I, I don't allow people to do that here. Um, it's more it's more to prevent future problems. I know you guys aren't like that, but yeah, it's just to prevent future problems. Because otherwise, people will be all like, oh man, you know, okay, come play with me, then this is my friend's code. And they, do, and they don't care about the stream, they just care about networking. So yeah, we try to avoid that here. And as for the railgun, man, I ain't gonna use it. But any difficulty will help, Zay. So you can actually like just do easy difficulty and still help. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Cardigan's rules at 1080p. Damn. I am at 1440p. I think it's something to do with the extraction. It has to be. And it's only the extraction that causes this. Hmm. I've extracted a number of times without any problems, but something else is going on. Err. Rage. Anger. Adjustment. This is using async compute on off. Doesn't seem to matter. 
Grr. Grr. Okay. Back on my bullshit. Allied destroyer has joined. Alright, just one last mission and then we're done for the day. I didn't even realize it was 2 a.m. But thank you so much, Cardigans. I just saw your settings. Those were some decent settings. I'd imitate, but yeah, I can't play Orbit on 1080p. Yeah, it's uh, the, there's no there's no solution for the crashes right now. We wish there was a solution. What will happen if we defeat automatons? I'm really curious too. That's why we're trying to find out and defeat them, you know. Allied destroyer has joined. Squadron. We did have less crashes on the bug Engaging extracts. I gotta admit thrusters. that. Maybe that's why people are playing bugs. You know, it's fun to just spawn them. But we still did crash on the bug extracts as well, Warhead. just not Seeking as much. Out. But yeah. I know, Jackor. It's uh it's like that. And I know, Zay, I know I know you guys weren't trying to do anything like that. I just usually let people know that that's our rule because if so, like some people they'll lurk in streams and they see that going down and then they'll start doing it if I don't call it out. So that's why I'm just like, you know, relaxed. I say like, hey, you know, we don't do this and just let people know and most people that are cool with it, they'll just be like, oh, okay, we understand your rules, you know, it's all good. I think they are going to let us defeat the automatons, but it's going to be a tough fight and we got to get united. You know, right now we're not, we're not united at all, we're all divided. But I also can't believe that it's 2am and you know, I'm just like rolling. Also, YouTube is having some issues right now. So, I don't know why it's saying it's not receiving data, but it might be buffering. One second, if there's buffering, this is a YouTube issue. Yeah, it only crashes after evac. Okay. I'm done with my messages. You can ready up whenever you need to, Arcane. Okay. Launch the machine. But yeah, my OBS is fully sending in everything. I don't know. YouTube as well is having issues. Zero drop frames on OBS, so YouTube itself is just having some kind of bull. Yeah, I hope they are working on a fix. Yeah, it, it will do that pitway, but I think some viewers are actually getting disconnected from YouTube. Like, YouTube has... Oh, come on. Oh, stop them. I'm going up there. No! Cannon. Got him. Cannon. Spotted somebody. Oh. Probably spotted my sexy, sexy visage. Down a support weapon. I'm not sure how that spotted me. I didn't shoot it. Oh, um, no, they just have an increased detection range now. It's a stealth change. They can detect you up to 120. Even whether you, whether you shoot them or not, yeah. Even, even with my armor, that. Yeah, it's any range. They'll just detect you. It's stupid. I know. What it is, what it is. Okay, cannon turret's done. Get me my SSD. My SSD bridges. bounced. I got the terminal. Sorry, it's over there. I am living in Perth, Australia. Yeah, I know, I know. You're the ditcher. You're just a cloud runner. Sure, sure. Damn. Hello, robot. 
You don't have 40 missions? It's coming, it's coming out slowly, Camille. They're releasing it stage by stage because they're trying to work out some stuff right now, so most likely the system just is having some issues. You'll get your rewards, don't panic. Hey, thanks for dropping perfectly. I do not care about the samples enough to bother picking them up. Okay. Location, west. Cancel that. Bots, west. Reloading. Oh, look, the ditcher's all the way over there. Damn. Damn. Why so fast? <laughs> Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. Oh, grand. Well, you better deal with that. Where is the enemy artillery anyway? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. I see it. I'll get the artillery and the uh, broadcast because both are here. Package acquired. Dropping package. Orbital incoming. Engaging orbital laser. Calling in an eagle. Illegal broadcast station done. Mortar done. Clean and clear. Out of my way. Sorry, just checking something important. The same machine gun that Space Marine Devastators have. I think you mean a heavy bolter. Yeah, we all need that. But yes, I'm using the Jar Dominator. Yeah, it is Friday. Wow, this week passed so fast. Damn. Why is time like this? I don't like it. Why must time pass? I refuse. This clock that ticks life away, it's so unreal. Damn, I couldn't climb these rocks. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Friday. I didn't even think it was Friday, but it is. There's a nice little bolter. I think I like the jar so much because it, it's literally a bolter. And I just need that space marine shit in my life, you know what I'm saying? Engaging terminal. Smell divers, never die. Okay, let's go. Unlocking doors. Oh, hello. You there just we there we go. I got you back. I am a stunner boy. I said see you later, boy. Stun him an auto cannon in the face. 
Really? Why is my bullet's not making contact? What? Mm -hmm. Okay. Listen, don't worry about whether it makes sense or not. All that matters is what does it actually do in the game. If it's strong, it's strong. If it's not, it's not, you know? Much like with the sickle, we'll have to try everything out. Brick by brick. Yes, I am from the future, hi. And let me tell you how things are going in the future. Uh, the war is going bad. shot okay sending in the last batch tagging map southwest far requesting orbital strike firing orbital strike okay bye have a great day Listen, Noel. First and foremost, what we need to do is stop the demotivational talk. Doable, not doable, what does that matter? We're hell divers. We're super earth elite. We drop on the planet no matter what, and we fight for the damn order. All right, if we fall and we die, we die heroes' deaths. But we shall not die this day. What we need to do is band together. So rather than losing morale, the first and most important thing we need to do Get out there and start convincing the people on Tibbet and Durgan and say, Get your asses over to Maya right the hell now. I will do my part on that in a video right after stream. But seriously, get their punk asses over there. Alright, slap them if you have to. Slap their wives, slap their daughters, slap their sons. In fact, even you can even slap their clothes. Alright, get them over there. Whatever it takes. Of course they're going for Cyberstan. I don't give a damn if they're going for Cyberstan. Kill every automaton until there ain't nothing left. And if anyone isn't fighting, well, you know what to do. I've given you the technology. I've given you the information. All you gotta do is annihilate them with your hand. See this hand? All right. Think of your families on Super Earth, and then wind up your hand. With all the love that you have for your civilian family back on Super Earth, you wind up your hand, you go. Oh no, we don't, we don't, we don't, 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 don't slap the pets. That's not, that's not cool. Because you see, the pets are not at fault. The pets are not over 17. They cannot participate in the war. But the humans absolutely slap them. And the clothes, the humans wear the clothes. Therefore, slap the, slap the clothes too. This is the way. But the pets are innocent, man. They didn't do shit. Their only problem was that they had the misfortune to be owned by a bug hunter, you know? I don't want to make them feel bad, but, you know, sometimes... They gotta understand that game journal's difficulty isn't exactly the right way to play a game, you know? There are many other difficulties out there. Many better difficulties. Requesting air support. Ah, the 
Good job. Reloading. Nah, I've loosely looked at it. Is there any actual content in there, Daniel? I'm curious. I saw a new enemy, but is there any actual real content in there? Because all I saw was a battle pass. But anyway, let's keep the street oh. for Helldivers. What happened to you? You got annihilated? You rocketed me from that far. Yeah, they kind of have unlimited range on that. Calling in. Summoning Arcane. Calling in an Arcane. Requesting advanced weaponry. I returned from the tower. Yeah, you turn from your cloning vat. What's up, Arcane no. 3765? <laughs> How was your cry of sleep? <laughs> Quite enjoyable. The yeah, well, that sounds not very good, Daniel. No, no cry of sickness this time. No cry of sickness. Okay. Don't worry, if you ever have cryo sickness, I know you'll just take a massive bong rip. <laughs> See, he even got the coughing down pat. This is Arcane. 100%. <laughs> Looks like there were no defects in cloning Arcane 3765. <laughs> it's okay, I'm Asian Robot 5972. I know, Daniel. That's what I'm like. Yo, what the hell? What the hell? Um, I'm using the engineer set. It's you know from the basic war bond. I use that very often. It's pretty good. Two extra grenades, two extra stun grenades, recoil reduction, everything I need. Ooh, sleeveless armor sets. You know what, Doctor Mantis? We don't need sleeveless armor sets. I need my cat armor now. We need Neko armor, and we need, uh, we need, they need to collab with Elden Ring so we can have, like, uh, Elden Ring loincloth armor. Well, yes. Yes, yes. I want to just, I want to run around, you know, just the basics, and it should have no armor, but increase your speed to insane levels so you can just, like, outrun all the bullets. <laughs> 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 then, like, one shot will just insta-give you. <laughs> That would be so funny. Just I, a shield. Just run around with a shield and a loincloth. Yep. Oh, look. After all this effort, we have finally conquered 7% of Maya. Hey, with 115k people, we can conquer this in 2 days and 14 hours. Three planets to go, fam. Oh my god, Fia's underwear armor. Lamau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, listen up, fam. I'm gonna be straight with you. Um, You've got the bots on the run. Before, before I end the stream, because I'm so what sorry, I didn't realize it was 2 a.m. I'll will film a video soon as part of the storyline. I've got a script. I'll go script it. It'll take about half an hour, uh, maybe an hour, and it'll come out. But basically, what I'm gonna do is this. All right. Um, we of the Super Earth Elite. I have brought my elite honor guard to Maya. All right, fine, 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 fine. Y'all can have hugs and salutes, whatever. Get out of my way. There you go. Thanks for the session. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Thank you guys so much for playing today. I really appreciate the presence. Yes, absolutely. Now, briefing yep. time. Okay, listen. I brought every single one of my elite forces from Tibet and Durgan all the way to Maya, but there are still a lot of players remaining there. So here's your duty, Helldivers. I need you to get the 42K... Anastanu, all right. Go, go to that bug planet. Kidnap them and bring them to Maya if you have to. Tell them that you know um, they're game journalists for playing on the bugs right now. All right. Do what it takes to get them fired up enough to get to Maya. All right. 
As for the people on Tibbet and Durgan, do the same. Go there, kidnap them, and say, hey, listen, you want to know where we should go? We should go to Maya right now. All right? Go in there and tell them that orders are going to change. If they don't know that the orders are going to change, they can check it out from my channel. I'll have a video out in about an hour. We need every single Helldiver coordinated on this thing because guess what is happening right now? I'll be straight with you. I'm pretty sure Joel is desperately raising the Conquer and Regeneration rate. So we are going to see some pretty serious stuff. And he's going he's gonna to start playing unfair, you know. After I film this video, while hanging out with my bros in chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go do some easy missions and bank some extra. Alright, they ain't ready for my easy runs. Alright, bank as much liberation as you can. Because right now, there's only one thing that's on my mind. It's not about the medals anymore. It's not even about sending a message. I'll tell you, there's only one thing on my mind right now. I want to beat Joel. Because he's clearly stacked the deck against us. And I'm not a fan of unfair games. So if he's going to stack the deck against us, then we're going to stack the deck against him. Do your trivial spams. Do your uh, easy runs. You know, I'm going to help out newbies on easy mode real quick. I'm going to bank as much liberation as I can tonight. So make sure y'all do it. Alright. And tomorrow morning. I want to seize this planet tomorrow morning. I want to see it at a minimum of 70% when I wake up so that when I lead the charge in the morning, we will have the planet under our control. All right, family, you have your orders. I'll see y'all in the morning. Y'all have a good one. Catch you later.